This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Omeji Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Circa Barakil, Alex Franco AV, Winebow Brood, Psyche, Asuta Starbreeze, Cletus Oreo, Nina Grimstotter, Lily Black, Bob CC, Mikta Robintau, Sapa Chakwatol, Edwin, Arcadia Lunashine, Umbral Wind, Quick Levin, Pamela Isley, Camille Grinnow, Elenriel Maximus, Codrith Novelist, Mira Miri, Suno Shikano, Celesto Nautrell, Lazy Boy, Boy, a Wild Sarah, Luke Osborne, Pandalu Storm Arrow, Tex, Kai Lin, Anathus Moonscar, Arthur Law, Berry Dan Derard, Cypup, Spencer Christmas, Neufafnir, Cheshire Saltiri, Celine Deloon, Woobster Wolf, Face on Masher, and Severa. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Life. Welcome to Speakers of Fightle in episode two, uh, sorry, 322. I'm Lakeel Bravestone and I'm joined One day today. You'll stop saying episodes <laughs> 300, 200. Yeah. Uh, I'm joined today by Gergi Wiston, Mayla Vanadar, and Rollo Des. It is October the 22nd, 2022. It's 22, 322, 22, 10 kind of ruins that 2022. There's yeah. a lot of 22s in there. Yeah, that's Many my point. 22s. There's a lot of 22s. Welcome everyone. Uh, today uh, we will be uh, reviewing patch 6.25, which came out on Tuesday. We'll also be uh, reading a Yoshi P interview with the ma the game <laughs> magazine uh, or publication uh, called Gamer. We were we were kind of trying to figure out what the um, website address actually means because it's gamer dot was it N E dot J P dot N E dot J P yeah. So if anyone knows what the N E means, uh, let us know. Uh, we we have no idea. Uh, also, we'll be reading Mogmail speakers .com slash Mogmail. Thank you for sending in Mogmail. It has been received. Please keep sending it. Uh, again, speakers .com slash Mogmail. Stay tuned if you're watching live for our post show. We'll be reading questions from the syndicate, but we'll also be discussing the recent. Silent Hill and Resident Evil uh, news. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in that, uh, of course, post show. Um, also, I'll mention we are entering the final week of Spooktober. Um, yeah, that um, will conclude on Monday, obviously. Like Monday, in, not next Monday, but the Monday after on the 31st. Um, but tomorrow we'll be playing Song of Horror. Uh, you might be wondering why, but that's because we've run out of days to finish Song of Horror, so we need to do it tomorrow. Um, that's sort of a buffer day. So, Song of Horror tomorrow, the finale. All right, let's jump into uh, recent events. All right, recent events. Um, we will start, I guess, with All Saints Wake because uh, that happened. Um, so spoilers, I guess, for All Saints Wake, if you haven't done that already, but don't worry. It's not really that much to spoil. <laughs> it's a very short quest. Um, but Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot more with uh, that house, but apparently... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it kind of feels tacked on, really, at the end. And it kind of is, because it's a separate quest to unlock it as well. Um, but yeah, uh, let's talk about the story. Um Anyone want to take the reins on this, or should I just briefly go through? I just don't think there's a lot to say, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yergi? So we go to the Miketo's amphitheater as per usual, and we go there and we're like, where is the Continental Circus? There's supposed to be void sent pretending very badly to be humans. And there was one, but we for some reason fell for it this year right um <laughs> there was the the typical adventurers guild man mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. his actual do we know what's his actual title i can't remember 
Oh shit! It's just called like Adventures Guild something. Yeah. Like. Uh, oh, Inspector. Chronic, like, Inspector, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like the Adventures Guild Inspector. Yeah. He's the one that we get the quest from. Oh, Investigator. In sorry. Sorry. Investigator, yes. Yeah, sorry. Um. So we talked to him. He's like, ha. We kicked out the continental circus. They won't be back. Right. Mm-hmm. Like he has, he's wearing a very suspicious earring. And he tells you yeah. that they have set up some... Mm, True. Hey, he's, he's got a lot of money. Yeah. Is, I don't know. The Adventurers Guild has got funds. Yeah. Um, and then he tells you that we have set up some sort of disguise party where if you... What is it? Is it like something you eat? It's like, it's a, like a potion. It's a potion, like, like an elixir or yeah. something. Yeah. It can turn yeah so into we an have animal. these potions that will temporarily turn you into one of four wonderful things. And I want you to go out there and spook people, but then turn immediately back into a human to, t- to prove to them, don't worry, it's just a joke. It's not real. Right. Just a prank, bro. Yeah. This immediately rang alarm bells with me. Mm-hmm. Because it felt like we were tempering people to not get scared by Void Scent, essentially. Uh, so mm. Even if he had been real, it would have seemed like the wrong play anyway. Mm-hmm. It's a weird quest. Yes. I mean, he acts suspicious from the very well, start. Well, yeah. But your character doesn't pick up on it, which is annoying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're so trusting. Yeah. Mm, sometimes. Yeah. Because we are not trusting of someone later in the quest. Mm-hmm. Anyway... Once we go and spook or make people feel happy, if you choose to be a gaily cat, because they'll react positively to that. Um, oh, yeah, you have four options to transform into a gorilla, um, a gaily cat, a wrath, wraith, wraith, and, and circus eye. Continental eye. Continental eye. Um, yeah. So, yeah, once you go and attract two guests, he's like, good job, meet me under the bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you go there and he's <laughs> you fell for it and he's followed by another continental eye and his wife because mm-hmm. it's actually it's actually papa graf who has disguised graf, himself uh, as oh, the adventurous no. girl investigator yeah he's back from earlier in this year yep. yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he's like you fell for it and your potion will potion was temporary but the ones we're going to give everyone else will not be mm-hmm. and their despair and fear about forever being transformed will be allow us to bring forth all the void scent yeah i yes. guess yeah the night of devilry will happen yes that's yeah. what it's called yeah and then oh yeah he reveals at this point that the continental eye that's with him is the investigator and yeah. he's mm-hmm. like <laughs> you can't do anything about that mm-hmm. then they they walk away M- papa and mama graph walk away and they're like haha we win yeah but then you turn around and there's <laughs> this is a strange woman yeah <laughs> dressed, dressed as some sort of evil mm. doctor <laughs> that really that was frankenstein the... yeah it was like so weird. It's like out of nowhere, this character just st- standing there. It'll be like, okay, never seen you before or anyone dressed like you ever. Mm-hmm. Never seen you before. Never seen this outfit before. You're telling me to trust you. Yeah. We've just been deceived. So I'm not primed to do that right now. Right. Um, but she's like, no, no, no. Believe me. <laughs> we can make mm. these people, <laughs> we-, we can teach these voids in a lesson. Yeah. So she, so annoyingly, she asks you to transform into someone that Papa Graf will trust, and you get a choice. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what you choose because no. ultimately she will make you she will make you transform into Mama Graf. I wanted yeah. to be Little Graf. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be but, Little Graf too. Yeah. But then she's like, no, 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 it needs to be someone you've seen recently, and Little Graf doesn't appear until after the quest is over. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So then you transform into well, she, she, you have to you get to ask her why are you doing this? Is like, no. Just, just trust me. I have my reasons. Mm-hmm. And then you transform. You go trick Papa Graf into eating this cookie that will force him back into his normal form, into his void scent form, which mm-hmm. is an imp. Right. And apparently, Mama Graf is a succubus, which is yes. a weird relationship. Mm-hmm. But we don't judge people. Good for him. Um, <laughs> Size difference. Mm. It doesn't. From what I got, it doesn't matter how many times you get this conversation <laughs> incorrect. It will eventually force you to pick the correct. Yeah, they, option. Oh, it just yeah, starts it, removing. It just yeah. Puts, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, I thought it would punish you and you'd have to start again. No. Um, 
but yes, eventually you trick him into eating this pumpkin cookie that the weird witch lady, witch doctor lady made, and that mm-hmm. forces him back into his void scent form, and then you've done it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. She comes along and and. No, she reveals who oh, she yeah, is. Oh, yeah, she reveals who she is, because she's the pumpkin head uh, she's lady. She's the great gourd... What? what great, the great gourd... I yeah, something. Gor- great, great Gorbachev. Yeah, uh, Gorbachev. Yeah, yeah. Gorbachev. <laughs> Rest in peace. Um, and then she says she's going to punish Papa Gruff. Um, come and see me, and I've got this little treat for you. Mm-hmm. Then you finish the quest and get the mask... You get her the, outfit for the, some reason. The doc, yeah, oh, you yeah. get her clothes. She, she, tr- she untransformed the investigator as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. Yeah. Yes. We weren't just supposed to take her out of work. Right, mm-hmm. right. And then when you've done that... that's essentially the main quest. Yeah, that, and then she has a side quest to unlock the... The Great Gourd will still be yeah, in... Uh, will be at, you know, near the quest NPC. So you can just pick up that quest and she's like, I've got... Something else, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. In my house. Yeah, I, I own a house down the street. You want to come, come hang out? Uh, but and... this is the most detailed zone. Oh, it's really good. It's very detailed. So detailed. It has like a million things in it. So many little things to find. Mm-hmm. And it's I a unique really zone enjoy. in yeah. the sense that, like, it's comp- it's not based on anything. They completely mm-hmm. handcrafted this area. It's fully oh, yeah. made for this. It's yeah. very. At first, I thought it was. Um... Hawk Manor, like from the outside, yeah, the yeah. From, the, yeah. from the screenshots or something. But mm-hmm. then, like, you get closer, like, oh no, it's it's actually a lot smaller than Hawk Manor. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's some little unique thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's wild. That yeah. was indeed crazy. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And you can you can do the thing where you transform her into NPCs. But I think the most interesting thing you can do here is talk to the Great God, and you find out that she isn't actually a Great God Phantom. She is essentially from a line of marquee Marky. people yeah. mm-hmm. who have been keeping their eye on the Void Scent ever since the War of the Magi, which is crazy, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, Huge, as a lore implication. Big, like, lore implication <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, this it, little tiny dialogue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy bit okay, lore as well, because she, we have seen her every... Oh, yeah. so wait, yes. in the background, and this is now when she's finally chosen to reveal herself to us. Yep. Yeah. So and, that's really interesting. And this lore is locked behind a seasonal event that yeah. may, may go away, you know, may never happen again, or I don't know, it's interesting. I mean, there's no way they're not going to give us access to this again. They're not going to no. throw away such a good asset. But because this is a new asset, I noticed, again, I'm noticing this with all the new assets or new maps, the lighting here is great. Mm, the I lighting know. is very good in this zone, which um, is, again, them flexing with the, what they can do with the mm-hmm. lighting system now. Um, I couldn't be bothered to go through every single... Oh, no, I definitely didn't go through all the transformations. I just went through no. the ones that I didn't recognize from... Pr- that I didn't recall from previous years or that yeah. I couldn't figure out just based on the description. Mm-hmm. I ended up being um, Pepega or whatever she's called in... Uh, the law file? Pepega. Yeah, and running around and looking at the little sleeping marshmallow they, ghosts. They let you transform into all of the Derplanders' best looks from all over the years. Yeah, That's oh, they the let you transform into that Garlean man in the purple armor with the ugly face. Ugh. Oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Milkman. Um, uh, Milkman, whatever he was called, I can't remember. Oh, God, oh, the, so ugly. V- the grape splatter man. He popped like a grape. Jones. Oh God, his name is gonna bother me. What is his name, chat? The horrible man from the... Um... Valens. Valens. I kept you. thinking Varys, but like, I knew it was close <laughs> to Varys, but I couldn't yeah. remember exactly what it was. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's so that... possible yeah, go on. With, with the Great Gord, maybe she'll be the per- the NPC that we speak to at future All Saints Wakes, because, I mean, we will have, presumably, better relationships with Void Scent by next year. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. yeah, that would be nice. It'd be nice to get a bit more... Info- I mean, if she was around when well, she wasn't around during the War of the Magic, but she's a descendant of people who were around then, so yeah. she obviously has some mm. lo- like knowledge of the voice. Yeah, they've been able to maintain a certain amount of wealth because I mean, look at a house. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It seems to exist in some sort of pocket dimension or something. It's yeah. very strange. Yes. I don't know where it is. Um, but let's... she seems to have yeah. positive relationships with voice as well that are just mm-hmm. like around mm-hmm. her house that aren't 
behaving negatively. Right. Very good. Uh, what do you think Very about the good. rewards? We get the the we've the outfit is whatever. It's the outfit that she's wearing. I I don't think it's the bad. Yeah, it's very interesting. I hate. I don't like the headpiece, but we discussed everything that about last the week. headpiece. I think is pretty good. The headpiece. I don't really know mm -hmm. how to fit that into a glam. I don't know what yeah. I would be no. doing with that. But the 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 coat is really good. Um, mm -hmm. The housing item was so much smaller than I expected it to be for some reason. I for really? some reason didn't expect. I know we even looked at it last week, and I, I saw the size mm. comparison. But for some reason, I thought they were bigger, but. And they're they're nice. They they give off a nice blue, they're cool color. Um, yeah. No need to have them dyeable, really. But I guess it's nice. No, the dyeing is so pointless well, it's, because it's it's just yeah. the cage and you don't really mm -hmm. see the color. But whatever. Um, also, the last obviously mm -hmm. the emote eat pumpkin cookie, which you get for you need to buy that separately. Yeah, need to buy. Yeah, it either. yeah but that's all gill. There's no like currency this right. year. Or My before. preference. When yeah. seasonal events just let you buy the other mm. rewards with money mm -hmm. rather than some sort of seasonal currency that you have to grind out. I agree. I, agree. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. I don't necessarily. It depends on how you get the currency. Right. They've very rarely made it enjoyable to get the currency. So I guess. Well, exactly. The, well, the thing is, they still haven't removed repeatable quests. If you like doing repeatable quests for some reason, you can still do them, but you're just going to get the. You, know, you get the. the um, the pumpkin, pumpkin the glamour thing, you know, where you get a big pumpkin. Why are they called yeah. prism? Magic prism. Yes, yes. Mm. And I think that's fine. That's a, that's a fine balance. All right. It's one of my pro yeah, well. favorite glamour prism. Oh, uh, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Mirror yeah. prisms, whatever they're called. Yeah, it does a little more. I would like, prisms. I would like those to either last longer, or I would like them to add in, maybe seeing as you can do the transformation thing, maybe they could add in like a like five minute transformations where you can turn into a you know like harambe or right the gaily cat or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah don't worry would be next fun to year or, or at some point in the future the pumpkin head will be a fashion accessory and you'll be able to wear ah. it as long as you want you just won't be able to do anything while you have it on right that would be cool yeah that would be nice because then we've gone from it being a headpiece in like the first halloween ever to then being a magic prism that you use for like five seconds and then now a fashion yeah <laughs> yeah well slightly different but still yes okay but overall a good event um mm -hmm. pretty decent yeah uh all right let's mm -hmm. uh, move on um lucky bancho uh has released a census for 6.2 we've covered their previous sense what is the plural of census censuses so it is just censuses okay uh, uh yeah, censuses. Yeah. Okay, censuses. We've covered their previous censuses before. Um, they are very accurate because they they don't do the Square Enix uh, thing where they just do like we have this many registered accounts. This looks for active players. This is the one. These are the numbers that matter, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so let's let's start. There's some really interesting stuff in here. Um, so there's a uh, player population and some stats for the new Savage tier. So. Um, let's talk about the active characters first. The number of active characters is currently at 1.45 million, which is an increase mm. from 1.3 million uh, in the August survey. And the number of characters that have completed Endwalker is 1.1 million, an increase of 990,000 from the last survey. Jeez. An increase on 999. Yeah. 990,000. Yeah. Not of that would be a massive. Oh, amount. sorry, increase on. Um, yeah, the, the number of new characters in the survey decreased slightly, but this is compensated for, for by an increase in the number of returning players that weren't active in the August survey. Hmm. So it's very impressive numbers. The big. Yeah, that that's it's healthy. Think about each mm -hmm. one of those people is paying ten a month. Yeah. Uh, it it's inc yeah it's incredible because the game is so old <laughs> the game is getting there in age i mean it is mm -hmm. it is kind of the boomer mmo it know. is but or it's one of it. them. yeah it's one of them but yeah. i think established mmos do well if, mm -hmm. the, if you last this long you're doing well yeah and they're doing a lot to uh adapt to the zoomers as well so 
they are doing things that Zoomers like, like uh, adding pixie wings, uh, mm. you know? <laughs> no, <that's not> <laughs> um, Stuff like that. Gotta, All the cool dances. I know you have to vent, Lukeel. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a good, it's a good thing. But I do hate the fucking wings. I They're wish adding I... the Among Us backpack. Yeah, yeah, just waiting for that. Um, but yeah, uh, this is clearly a sign of good health. Uh, this is for a point two, like a, a point two patch. So I would not expect it. This is usually when you expect things to mellow out a little, like maybe decrease slightly because it's not, mm -hmm. it, it's mostly the current player base that keeps playing and then people fall off. Um, but no, there is a fresh, a fresh supply of players coming in. Fresh meat. Yeah. Mm. Um, so another interesting thing that I, I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I'm surprised or not. Uh, we've talked a little bit about um, this, but aside from OCE, which is Oceania, uh, the regions have seen a similar pattern pattern of growth. OCE's population has once again not grown since the last survey, and its population size remains equivalent to a single North American world. Oh. So I've seen some discussion about and that's not very much. I've seen some discussion about this. Um, I think one of the things that works against it is that unlike what they were originally planning, the OC server did not come online until after Endwalker was released. Mm -hmm. They had originally scheduled it for, to be released beforehand, which is always going to make it less appealing because yeah. a lot of people will have invested in this expansion, at least on another server. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I will say there is a lot of advertising for Endwalker in my experience throughout Australia and online, mm -hmm. at least targeted towards me, I feel like. Yeah. Um, I feel, which kind of doesn't work. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, there's a lot of bus ads, surprisingly. And yeah, also, it was one of the big. There's a lot of. It was surprisingly one of the. Maybe not surprisingly, but it was apparently one of the biggest um, uh, exhibitioners at um, PAX Australia. So that might also pull in some more people, but we won't see the effects of that for a while. Right. Now, listen, just I... imagine. The same effort and money went to Latin America. They'd be, that server would be busting. Yeah. They'd be typing the ha -has in the chat, the ja -jas I... all day. <laughs> but we'll, see, here the thing is, Rollo, they'd need to invest in a new language. I know. Yeah, they'd have to translate yeah. it. Actually, even, even if they didn't translate it, I still think, still think it would do a lot of... Uh, it'd do pretty well. It wouldn't do bad. I, I mean, I there aren't many companies. Like, I think the only one I can really think of is Amazon, who put effort into South American servers. Well, yeah. Why mm -hmm. Why is why do they always down-prioritize? Is it because of language that they have to translate it to, like... I don't know. I think... <laughs> Combination think, of language and also like just like things are very expensive in South America. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they are. Oh. You do have to account for things like um, like a you know, sub is like just... can be people's like monthly wages or something. Yeah. yeah, but I mean they they do like regional pricing for stuff like for other regions. I don't see why they couldn't do it for Latin America. For 14, and they, they, and they, they do, don't. don't they? I think already for like I think Brazilian players can buy. Yeah, didn't um, they do something? Time and all that stuff just fine in their local currency. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm fully on board with it, though. But yeah. it may be a similar situation to maybe less so for ours. But, like, I think Oceania is probably lower just because most Australian players will be playing on the Japanese data center for mm -hmm. ping or mm -hmm. NA EU for their yeah. rating scene, or English rating scene. So It is interesting because... I mean, there clearly wasn't that big of there wasn't that the need wasn't that great. It seems for OC, it, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't required, but they did it. And I remember when they announced it. I, I mean, we were very surprised at the mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. that. So I don't know. I'm not surprised by this uh, at all. <laughs> I mean, Maybe they're might... seeing big returns on it. But, I don't know. But it, yeah. it might also. <laughs> Yeah. It might also be a function of, based on what we also know about the Japanese data centers, about how they don't want to intermingle with the English-speaking data centers, mm. it might be a means of them getting less, more people off of, particularly Tonbury, <laughs> but Japanese data centers in general. Oceana, 
server was made as a quarantine is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah i'm Goodness just me. theorizing yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm saying... sure it will eventually increase in numbers yeah if they if they put I the just... advertising into australia eventually but i just think like like ha like i can't remember if it was 6.1 or 6.05 when it was released i just think that was a uh, it might have been a 6, 6.0. I, I think it was just a weird time to launch a new, an entirely new data center in a new region. Right. Right. Like you went and tried it out, and I imagine, you know, I still have that character. I just don't use tens it. Tens of often. Australians probably went and tried it out. But <laughs> the fact is, they also had characters on other worlds. I personally yeah. have a few friends that moved their characters to the. That's the fair AU then. Server. Good. You know, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It but just they didn't have, time. I mean, obviously, I have reasons to be tied to other servers, so I can't right. necessarily move my character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's just needs more incentives to actually transfer. Well, they, they like like Yuri said, they have been going pretty hard on the advertising. So mm -hmm. I'm a little, I mean, I mean, that part of it is surprised that they're not getting more back from what they're putting in in terms of advertising. But maybe it just takes a while, or maybe just mm -hmm. Australia's well, just Australia? not interested. <laughs> Australia's sure always been like that with some of the advertising, like for fourteen. Like, remember when they had that barber or something? Just oh yeah, doing 14 oh, yeah. I was in Sydney. Well, yeah, like, yeah. Um, why? What kind of fucking why? It's like it's like they're oh. delusion. They're delusional. They think, oh, we're so big in Australia. Send down a That's barber. Not <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to just be Australia. The Oceania server. It's supposed to be for New Zealand and also rest of Southeast Sorry, what? Asia. Who? Yeah. So, new the what? Oceania servers. Yeah, new. Is not just for Australia. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a what's a New Zealand joke. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Um, well, anyways, I that's got confused because I moved on to other countries before oh. we started. The oh joke. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, moving on. Uh, in terms of individual worlds growth, Crystal and its preferred worlds have seen above average growth as well as yeah. the new worlds on EU. Though the new EU ones still have quite low active player counts. Uh, there's a translator's note here. I'm not too surprised at this part. The other day I had a stroll around the new world's housing wards, and they have so many personal wards that are still 80% empty aside from the largest. Um, OCE is developing a further disparity in population between worlds, with the lowest population uh, world Servon having 2,000 active what? characters. Why wouldn't you God. want to play on Servon? That's a cool name. Mm. My understanding is that the most populous ones are Sophia and uh, Ravana? Mm. Oh, I they're think, pretty cool I names think, too, though. Sophia I think especially. Ravana is like the raiding world, and Sophia is like the, is the Europe of of OCE in the sense that they're into RP and glamour. Ah, uh, taking pitch and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I ask mm. you, how is Bismarck higher than Savan? That's a good question. I don't know much. I mean, I'm pretty sure you. Could, I would be OCE embarrassed service. to play on Bismarck, and then I would be even more embarrassed when I got to the Bismarck fight and realized what my server name is representing, where you jump on the back of a whale and shoot its boil until it dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So mm, surprising. Um, so yeah, that's, um, uh, that's uh, population numbers. There's also some information about the P8S mount. Um, now Jesus, which, which column am I looking at? Well, it's, page, it's the SN one. Complicated image. Uh, so the top one, the top, the number one server that has the most P8S uh, mounts is of course Mana, um, Chocobo, the server with 12.7% of the player population having the mount. So how far down do we have to go? We have to go to Ether and Gilgamesh, of course, as the Western, um, this is the North American one. 5.7% of the active player population has the P8S um, mount. Um, Europe, mm -hmm. you have to you have to drop far for Europe. Europe is oh, uh, the best Ragnarok, one? of course, on Chaos. 3% of the player population there has the P8S mount. Uh, so there you go. Those are the top. Uh, where is OCE? Materia. They're all Ravana. The bottom, but Ravana's doing best. With... But look, Bismarck's doing worse than Zavon. <laughs> yeah. 
2.2%. That's not bad. That's that's a bit of a rating scene then for the, the small population that is on that server, obviously. But All right. Yeah. They're hardcore. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, so there you go. That is I mean, those... the numbers are low all around in terms of percentage anyway, so... Yes, yes, they are. They are. Yes. Okay, we need to go through a, a, an interview a bit as well. This is with the a game, the Gamer magazine, um, mm -hmm. which this is going to talk about in, the inspiration for Zero. How to, I do how... like your apostrophes around Gamer as if like you're questioning if well, it's, it's a thing. Well, it's because I had otherwise it just looked like a Gamer interview with Yoshi P. Yeah, yeah I know. Like sitting you, down with the boys. Um, <laughs> so anyways, yes. Uh, how to handle classic Final Fantasy homages and 90% support for Savage one week delay. So that's uh, the headline. Let's uh, go in here. So about the Realm Reborn anniversary. The interviewer asked this how... This translated by M. Killaby, by the way. Oh! Yeah, Thank you, M. Killaby. Most, uh, oh, Japanese out. content about 14. Yep. Um, the interviewer asked how Yoshida would describe the past nine years since A Realm Reborn launched uh, in one phrase. He replies with, getting carried away could also be translated uh, as getting completely absorbed in or similar. He says this applies not just to the game, but also the events, management, and so on of the entire project. If he had to give one word for his feelings towards the player base, it would be gratitude. Thank you. Um, regarding the game's future, the interviewer comments that we've been hearing a lot about the next 10 years recently. Yoshida says that appealing to a new generation of players will also improve the experience of existing players. He says that since this is a turning point in the game's development, the devs are thinking about new ways of approaching designing content in the game. Oh, which, heck the zoomers. which is what I said. No, that we can't do that. We have to be. We have to welcome them. They no, will keep, us, they will keep I the do game welcome alive. Them yeah. Because you know what, Zoomer content is things like TikTok, which is like Dude, twenty second videos. So I'm, this means that dungeons are now going to be like two minutes. Have I said this? <laughs> I unfortunately find Zoomer humor to be incredibly funny, and I don't. I know don't mind it. I, I don't mind it because it's like it is quite it's like just absolute abstract chaos and then yeah. the 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 so it can be anything and then it always is punctuated by like that tiktok fart sound effect or something <laughs> similar and it just gets me every fucking time so i welcome that bring that into mm -hmm. 14 make bring that a hildebrand yeah. thing bring the tiktok fart into 14 please mm -hmm. uh sign mm -hmm. the petition i don't, I don't <laughs> know if that's gonna get into 14 because i don't even know if that appeals to like zoomers in japan <sighs> Oh shit! We have to deal well, with uh, them. American yeah. zoomers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I, is, this is there for the West. A new generation of gamers in Japan. <laughs> only in the West. Yeah, only in the West. Those are the only ones I care about. Um, so yeah, moving on to patch six point two MSQ. The six point two patch title "Buried Memories" was chosen because it fits both the MSQ and Pandemonium storyline, rather than the main and side storylines being written intentionally to both share a theme. Um, he also mentions that patch titles are de decided around three months before the release of the patch. At the time of the interview on September 12th, <laughs> dating the interview, the patch title for 6.3 had just been finalized. Oh, so they know it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, what do you mean? They know it? Like the... Well, it's out. It's done. They know it. patch 6.3 is titled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Mm -hmm. That's uh, cool. Bring it up. Regarding the patch title, I think it also kind of applies to the Omicron quest, which we'll talk about a bit oh, later. Right. Yeah. 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 I quite, like yeah, quite like how it applies to many things in this patch. Yes. Um, on the appearance of Golbez, he says that the Final Fantasy XIV also devs... the variant engines. I just want to. Oh yeah, true. That is oh, also yeah, true. That's true. Yeah. Um, on the appearance of Golbez, he says that the Final Fantasy XIV devs have very few rules about things they will never do. But one of these is that when homages to past Final Fantasy games are included, they should never exactly follow the depiction and story of those past games. The story... I agree with that sentiment. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some times when I find it a little um, unnecessary. We've always, we, I'm going to bring it back up, but the Evil East stuff kind of unnecessary to make um lord rassler and lady ash yeah. be siblings instead of husband and wife that's kind of a weird weird change i would probably have taken out a lot of the characters they seem to have put all the characters in but only shown like three of them anyway so they didn't need that much mm -hmm. background i don't think right yeah yeah 
I believe they were. I can't remember if this was ever confirmed, but I said that they. I think they said that they intended for um, uh, Balthier to appear during the the Bosnia oh. storyline. Oh but yeah, they didn't get around to doing it. Yes, yes. Wasn't that what we theorized was the reason why we got like Balthier's outfit? Like, there's he he's. Well, we get... I think Balthier wasn't supposed to appear until the like the southern front. Right. When um... did we get the Balthier outfit? Was that like after then? I guess that's that's all born. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Um, okay. But Balthier was supposed to. I think it was probably to tie in with the bike, which yes, like, the bike Fran uses. Yeah, 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 yeah. The story has been um, thoroughly checked so that Golbez is Final Fantasy XIV's Golbez. Uh, Scarmi. Oh my god, I can't say his name. Say it, Gergi. Scarmilione. Okay. Is Final Fantasy XIV's Scarmilione. Back during quest lines such as uh, Eden, there were many cuts to lines of dialogue that were direct quotes from classic titles. That's interesting because I think I remember people re reacting positively to the few lines that were kept in in the Eden storyline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Eden. Yeah, I mean the best thing for me if, about Eden was the music in the raid. Well, that's yeah. not saying very much. That... <laughs> but to hear FF8 music <clears throat> is always good. That's true. And to hear it in our game was just... Oh. Mm -hmm. That is true. The, the 8 doesn't often get a lot of love, so it's nice it when it does. It gets no love. Yeah. And even in this game, it's I... got almost no love. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. I thought Eden was good for the first two tiers, and then the last tier felt very rushed. That's... I would mostly agree with I agree, you. yeah. I'd slightly, dis, in some respects, dislike the reuse of old primals but also liked the reimagining of them so it was a mm -hmm. i don't know some parts of it were good yeah mm -hmm. i think it was i think it was a fun little remix it or remixes mm. of stuff like it, it was entertaining enough yeah yeah mm -hmm. um he wants newer players to the series uh, to wonder if this is what these characters are like in final fantasy 14 how about final fantasy 4 and go on to try mm. out the pixel remasters of the classic games mm, i mean mm. They got us. Next month, you'll yeah. be going back to it. Yeah. Uh, there are other players who don't know about the connections that will simply accept these as new characters as well, so it can appeal to different types of players. I want to meet these kinds of people. like Because, I mean, of the four of us, I've probably got the least experience with the Final Fantasy series as a whole, but I still understand the history behind it. I want to meet these people that just like have no context for anything in this game in relation to previous games. And yeah. they're just like, wow! <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, big chickens. Is that like a thing? That, like, <laughs> big chickens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, adjustments were made to the sky box in the thirteenth. It was made a bit darker and less beautiful looking, and more in I line <laughs> with what we uh, already saw of the thirteenth in the world of darkness. So, that's just a fun fun fact. It used to be bright and beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. The character of Zero I has... I didn't notice a difference. <laughs> Me neither. The character of Zero has been really popular outside Japan, which Yoshida says he didn't expect. The character, in terms of her personality, look, looks, and her voice actor's performance are all something new to Final Fantasy XIV, and he felt anxious about the new character before the patch was released. Nah. Really? You're no, you always... Mean... Any character that edgy is always going to get a positive reception in yeah, this game. Yeah, that understand why he thought this the zero wouldn't be popular yeah, yeah absolutely i mean you make a character like that like edgy and dark and like oh yeah i just it's it's all about the money hey but actually not <laughs> really i help you yeah. <laughs> people go crazy yeah it's like yeah, it's oddly kind of, nostalgic. i feel like that's particularly popular in the west yeah 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 it's a popular trope it's um uh, he confirms that Zero's look, that she's wearing a traveler's hat and is elegantly beautiful, is inspired by Vampire Hunter D, namely mm. the very recognizable mm. look of the titular character D. This part of her mm. character was decided. Were making that observation. <laughs> this part of her character was decided from the very start. Uh, translator's note: So Elden Ring isn't the only Japanese game with an on-the-nose reference to Vampire Hunter this year. Iconic Final Fantasy artist Amano has also done the illustrations for the Vampire Hunter D novel since the first one in the early 1980s. Mm. It's a nice fun fact. I didn't know that. Mm. 
Um, on her role in the 6.x MSQ, her character and overall role was of course determined back when the plot outline for 6.x was written, but the individual scenes proved a challenge, striking the right balance in the tone so that you don't end up disliking her. He says that the nuance is she starts off seeming seeming basically sta standoffish, soon. But you soon. <laughs> but you later see she can be affectionate, diddy. Body. In the scene where she <laughs> she's consuming the ether, uh, translator's note note. <sighs> yep, he did just say zero is a zondere. So there you go. That's soon soon. I read of zero i think she's more of a kudere yeah I, I don't think she's super sun but um i mean no whatever <laughs> sure, uh, <laughs> whatever. sure. Yes, i guess whatever character too. doesn't like you for a bit or isn't super friendly instantly it's just gonna start now yeah since the 6.x story is being written relay style between several different writers the whole writing team is working hard to ensure her character is consistent so what an interesting way to write yeah, I guess it makes sense for their development, but like, it's a f interesting challenge they have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty difficult. Yeah, and to be fair, she—I mean, even in like her debut, she's already quite an up and down character. So yeah, is she gonna all? I hope she's not always gonna be like that. I'm sure she'll. She's warm going to, to. She's gonna have a big like transformation. She's gonna change. Or, yeah, I think so. Well, she's going to have a mega transformation when she turns into Zeromus. <laughs> oh. Yes. yes. That's the biggest transformation you can have. That's when that right. happens. That's oh, right. Yeah. Um, for uh, Pandemonium, the interviewer says they were surprised La Habrea's story was wrapped up in the second part of the raid. Yoshida says not to be so sure this is the end of it. He says that the devs enjoy contradicting people's expectations. Long-time players would probably expect La Habrea's focus to come last. I mean, so he's essentially said that, like, we did oh. this because it subverts your expectations, but also, don't worry, it's actually probably not the end of the story. Yeah. So oh, actually, we not. didn't subvert your expectations. Mm. Take that. But we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did both. Yeah. Look at how yes. successful we were. Yeah. Look at this. He meant it's totally not going to be mega rushed at the end, like Eden, with just some random wrap up story that means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to be something good. Yeah. Yeah. He mentions it was never the intention to hide Themis's true identity as Elidibus. The Endwalker post credit showing the character looking up at the moon and the voiced line from Elidibus's VA, who is uh, Ishada Akira in JP, were designed so that players would recognize him. Yeah, we were on that pretty immediately, weren't we? I, I mean, I, mm -hmm. like literally, who else could it even be? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it was yeah. nice to have him not. It, it was still a. I think it was a good move still, because it's like there's a part of you that thinks maybe they could turn mm. around and it's someone else. Right, mm -hmm. right. As in another recent interview, he again mentions the parallels of Themis Lid uh, slash Elidibus to the iconic character Kaworu in Eva, who is also performed by Ishida. I don't know what I'm reading. These are... Uh, that was <laughs> how you, you butchered that so badly, Lukiel. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna beat your ass in the comments for that one. Okay, so how do you say it then? It's Kaworu. Kaworu. Yeah. In and it's a Ava. Uh, well, yeah, Ava or Evangelion, whatever. Okay. Oh, Evangelion. Why don't they just write Evangelion? Like, why does it do even shorter? Fans <laughs> call it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. It's. Do you want to say why do we say Evangelion every time? Y well, why do we say an... fourteen? Because we don't want to call it Final Fantasy fourteen. People understand what we're. This talking is an about. article. Like, well, this is a bullet point thing. <laughs> well, I guess. this is a translation. Yeah. This is not the official article. It's for a subreddit of weebs who knows that EVA, EVA is Evangelion, I guess. Who is also performed by Ishida, but says that this scene was actually made by younger staff members who haven't watched Eva. He asked the staff, you did this, the parallel to Kaworu, on purpose, right? Kaworu. But the younger staff had no idea what he was talking about. I'm just reading what That's it says. sad. Old man Yoshi P. <laughs> you're referencing something when, from the 90s. We what don't a, know what that is. Right. What a big boomer. Yeah. Uh, he hints. Oh, guy. That's weird because it's the kind of thing that Rollo and I grew up watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's... That and Ape is still like in the, like I don't know, the cultural zeitgeist. I think. Yeah, I mean, mm, sorry, Rollo. In the last couple of years. 
Rollo, sorry, dude. Yeah. It's not been in the cultural zeitgeist for like 40 years. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess so. Yeah. Everyone's watching Chainsaw Man and barking or some shit. Yeah. Bar <laughs> oh, yeah. Even Chainsaw Man is now like oh, the young people years old. At I guess, work, right. Rollo, telling me about Chainsaw Man. Yeah. <laughs> too old for this, Rollo. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, hints at the fact that we don't get to see Athena's face is tied to future developments. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, on, Sweet. on Island Sanctuary, globally, an overwhelming majority of players are taking the island moderate, taking the island moderately and at their own pace. This one we already kind of know, but uh, as mm -hmm. of when the interview took place, Yoshida didn't have a firm date data on this. Uh, didn't have firm data on this. It was uh, uh, due for the week after the interview, but particularly in the international player base outside Japan. There have been few players sticking close to the schedule. Players who approach it like, let's try catching an Opa Opo or pet the sheep I named are in the vast what? majority. Okay. What are you playing? Who does that? Can... Who logs in and be like, I want to pet my sheep today? <laughs> it does what a monster. nothing. Well, I, I suspect that's not the only thing they log in for. That's just an example of a random thing. That he says like. it's in the vast majority, which is... Uh... If you pet the sheep, <laughs> but don't pet all your other animals, you're a monster, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's I true. I do agree with if that. You're, if, you're, if you're in there petting, pet all but of them. Quite frankly, if you aren't just automating your entire farm via the mammoths at this point... Mm. Well, it depends on like, how far in well, there. If they have all right, if you're level 10... And aren't doing that, that's crazy. Like right. to save 600 or whatever a week. Yeah. It's only three. To automate everything, man, it's like 300. 300 a week. Uh, 300 yeah. a day. Literally, a day. if you right. just. Still cheap, though. If you just gather enough things, like was it like 10 items or is it 30 items once a week for the challenge? Oh, for the challenge, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it covers just, the cost uh, and then some. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and you make so much on the workshops yes like you can just chuck anything in and you'll make a you know a few thousand a week whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's um, crazy yeah i haven't really done much but i have like all of that i need from myland sanctuary right now i have all the mounts i have i mean i can afford i think most of it if not all of it are you not, just holding it, it. Oh, that's so you that's so oh, you I... just sit on the money and be like, I can afford it but <laughs> now i have so much well i'll I mean, buy them I have all when i can I've afford it I've afforded everything, and now I'm just building up. Right. Yeah, towers. I'll do the same. But I just sometimes I forget about things. Mm -hmm. Well, I got I got the I got the motorbike, and I got the most of the onion mounts or whatever, and I got mm. the costume. I really just got everything I wanted. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a couple things here and there I still want to get, but I've just I'll go into it when I feel like it. You're right. Wait, yeah. I mean, I I'm building up because if even if they don't add more things anytime soon. Buying those material will be very useful when they release the next set of crafted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's worth getting it for material. Yeah, but the only thing I've not done a lot of is farming the rares because I can't really be bothered. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Especially just with how much hemp it costs to do the medium sized one. I can't be bothered to farm that much at the moment. The medium one's the most annoying. Yeah. So, too much. so I'm just gonna go to the Savage Lake as the other mm -hmm. island stuff, the stuff is talked about. The community team survey indicates, so this is about Savage, uh, the community team survey indicates around 90% of players agree with the week one Savage delay introduced with the 6.2 tier. The one area of concern uh, is that on some worlds, crafted gear prices dropped more quickly than others, and the server team is collecting data on each world to monitor the market boards, how many trades took place, and for how much skill. I still don't quite understand this. this is just the economy at work, though. But what what caused so because it was one week delayed? What why did so the normally, prices drop? You know, let's say on Ragnarok, mm -hmm. Whale Lip will craft <laughs> Shout all out. the gear, yeah, and it'll cost like let's say two hundred k per piece. Mm -hmm. And because you're going to get into the raid that evening with your group, right? You've it's got the to. I mean, thing yeah, that's, you've okay. got to get it. Yeah. But if I know I've got a week, I might just try crafting it myself, and, and then it'll be free. More mm -hmm. people will have time to craft as more well, people. so it floods the So market. now it's not just whale lip; yeah. right. it's all of their alts that have crafted <laughs> as well. 
And, so, and also, there's going to be yeah. less demand because more people will be able to rely on either tone or craft or um, mm. raid gear from the normal yeah. raids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bearing in mind that the entry level to any raid tier is like the end of the previous tier. Yeah. You don't need the new gear to complete it. True. Mm -hmm. True. So the really hardcore people can go straight away, but they just you know they will want to buy up so yeah, i i i think it's a positive yeah and this is the economy at work anyway so if if, if prices drop that fast it's it'll adapt it's the players fault it's that the will fault just be the new normal the, yeah that's just yeah that's mm. that's how it is yeah that's right trickle down economics is real <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's, i'm afraid that's how it works so yeah. i guess in this how that's related to this <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah that's right um, there are plans to increase the proportion of rewards in the game that come from pvp in order to keep it active is that necessary? Oh. I feel like PvP is relatively active right now. It's probably the most active it's been for ages. I don't know what the state it's, of it right it's, now. CC is pretty decent for tomes, and mm. it's incredible for leveling. If you win, you get like half a level. Right. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind more crystals, I guess, but if you're talking about wolf marks, don't know. Mm. I, mean, I, I have more than enough wolf marks, please. Yeah. Trust me. I mean, I don't mind them increasing the wolf marks. Right. Doesn't, yeah, I don't mind it, but. <laughs> Um, there's also an interesting note here that I think might be not quite accurate, but he says there's been a growing interest in rival wings as a result of the new Christ, uh, what is it? CC. Crystalline conflict. Crystalline conflict. I don't think that's necessarily true. I think it's just because you made it available for the first time in like a yeah. year. That might be why you're seeing the rising interest in rival wings. I it's think there's like been more than a year. There's been lots of yeah, more than that probably. Yeah, I don't even remember when they shut down rival wings, but the. Uh, Rival. A lot of people wanted what? to play Rival Wings for a for long a patch, time. It was not shut down for very long. What was it not? No, it was only shut down for a patch when they did the PvP revamp. But then, it but so much then, longer. but it was why. shut. <laughs> it was shut down before then. So it's been shut down multiple times, right? No, or no, I'm, talking, I'm thinking about it. the maps. I'm thinking about the map. No, 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 no. The reason why people don't Dragalus. fucking play. Rival wings is because they don't put them on a roulette. Who wants that to go right. into the menu and like yes. scroll down to like the one rival wings map that's mm -hmm. available and and wait? No one does mm. that. Add it to a roulette, yeah, you cowards. You there. Um. Anyways, but I think the well. Anyways, my my point still stands. It was shut down and turned back on. That's why there's now a growing that's interest in rival yeah. wings. The next uh, part's not relevant because it's going to. Yeah, we'll discussed. talk about that in a bit. Okay, that's it. Uh, we need to jump into Mogmail. Mm hmm. Uh, you can send us mogmail at speakersxv.com slash mogmail. Let's go with the first mogmail. Uh, this hopefully is working. Here we go. This is from... Oh, my God. Where's, a where rare the beast. mogmail stinger? Oh, shit. You know what? I was just so ready to go into mogmail. I didn't even run the intro. Here the we go. Thank you. This is from a rare beast from from Beast Monk. Um, hello, speakers. Ooh. Final fan. The Final Fantasy Sounds Four. Like a venereal disease. <laughs> the Final Fantasy Four music and light motifs making it into fourteen have been a real treat as someone who grew up renting Final Fantasy Two US for our family SNES or SNES, depending on your region, from the local small town pharmacy. Often, uh, often growing up. You could rent an SNES from a pharmacy. Wow. It's a type of drug. Yeah, that is game. strange. Um, I look forward to more uh, that we'll undoubtedly get, but this is not my question. Getting it from a yeah pharmacy. That's like that's a cool pharmacy. <laughs> I'll take some paracetamol, uh, some lube, and, and Final Fantasy Two, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the speakers network is a global operation with many cultures and countries represented. <laughs> So give that and the love of lore in this community my ch so given that and the love of lore in this community my challenge is thus there is a rich lore through food and culture in 14 as in real life if each speaker present were to select one food from the representative uh, cultural backgrounds or countries to put into 14 what would you offer up and where in the setting would you tie it to good luck hmm now i feel like my culture is quite sufficiently represented through Ishgard, but I will True. say that more like 
that's more like like typical English, like high, like you know, high society, Pride and Prejudice kind of like tea ceremony <laughs> thing. Yes, yes, maybe get some like good old salt of the earth Yorkshire. Um, or oh, like El Amigo Mela. Yeah, they they're Yorkshire represented pudding. in in voice only. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I would like a sort of rolling hills kind of mm. Roll- area in the game that where right. we could maybe be I would expect if there's a rolling hills type area, it's going to be more based on New Zealand than Britain. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's probably true, but I feel we would we would fit into that. I mm-hmm. don't know. I think Ishgard represents England. Yeah, for the most you part. Used to not be covered in snow. You used to be a nice. Kind of yeah. rolling hills when Ishka when when that the Kurthus wasn't well, based on Kurthus is very tunnels. mountainous though. Like I, mm. I wouldn't think of England. Plus, as... it has French influence, which like, yeah, we don't it... like that. <laughs> That's true. But like um, the eastern central lowlands, or oh, the eastern central, the <laughs> eastern Kurthus lowlands, or the oh yeah central Kurthus lowlands, like they're more they were more hilly before they got covered in ice and snow. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, yeah, they were like, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe not think that Scott, you're right, but but do, do, if you want to s- select one food from your cultural background, Mela, um, that is not already in the game, I guess, because there is a lot of it in the game. Uh, and fish and chips in the game already. Yeah, mm-hmm. fish and chips. Were... Let's get the mince pie in game for a Christmas season, huh? Okay, I'm surprised if that's Ooh. not even. I'm surprised that's not even in the game. That feels like such a an Eorzean food in a way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Rollo. Ooh. Um. God, I don't I pick something it. from America. No. No, I won't. I mean, <laughs> it, there'd be a lot to pick from. I, I will pick something Dominican. Um. I'm trying to think. Something that would just, I guess, sort of fit. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little, um, there's a kind of dessert that uh, people eat on the islands. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to try and find the English translation. I, I hope there is an English translation. Uh-huh. Um, what? Because I, I, I just don't know what I would call it in, in, in English. Mm-hmm. Um cream of rice maybe cream of rice okay what is it explain the the dish um it it has beans okay <laughs> cool um, is it is, is, that, is it is sweet? it rice with is it arroz con leche no it's no. abitrella con dulce that sweet cream of beans Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 it didn't have rice. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. But um, abicholada con con dulce is uh, is sweet cream of beans, okay. and you eat it with like little milk crackers. I think usually around Easter. Um, interesting. I literally could. It has it has like a cinnamon taste to it because you oh, you, you make it with, with with like a little uh, little cinnamon stick mm-hmm. um, to give it flavor. Uh, it's really good. I love it a lot. It's a pain in the ass to fucking make. Um, <laughs> where would it? Where could it go? Would you say yeah, where it's would a level this... ninety to level one hundred culinary <laughs> recipe? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. This is this, like. I haven't had this in years just because I'm very lazy and this is too much work. Mm-hmm. Right. It, like, I only have it oh, yeah. when my dedicated relatives feel like we can get through <laughs> the holidays. Yeah. Um, As I think, was going to ask, where would, it, where would it be? Where is this in the world? world? I think you could maybe fit this into... Which Lollafells are the ones that live on the islands? The, the Southern uh, Islands. The, southern the, Islands. The southern, maybe you the could fit into there. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can fit into like the plains folklore because it's like um, a, a lot of the a lot of it's kind of like spices. Or what, right. I guess like mm-hmm. most spices, like you have uses like coconut milk or in a, or evaporated milk mm-hmm. and salt and sugar mm-hmm. and vanilla extract and like cinnamon. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just, I, I I get I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That be that be mm-hmm. that's my input. 
Anyway, right. just try it if you can someday. I don't know how to describe it. It's <laughs> bean cream. Okay. All right. I mean, that's true. It could be New World stuff as well. It could be. Um. Uh. So I'm gonna assume most Australian themed things will be in um, Maricidia because that's what everyone's been assuming for mm. years now. Yeah. Um. For something, I'd probably go with something Filipino, which would be like uh, chicken adobo, or which is like sort of a sweet ish, a uh, a Swedish sort of. Oh, is it sweet? Mm. I didn't know. I thought it was just chicken like chicken seasoned with adobo. <laughs> oh yeah, it is seasoned chicken, but it's kind of sweet. I think it's more mm. sweet than like sour any other flavor um maybe salty um yeah chicken adobo i'd probably make it i was probably gonna go with the same thing that rollo said i'd probably make it like a sub uh southern isles lullafell cuisine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that's probably where i'd fit it in okay um i feel like Nor like norwegian slash nordic cuisine is very repris like we just have like hearty food and i feel like that's what you find in a lot of Aorcian cuisine. I'll just take the weirdest one I can think of, which is like the stick meat one, which is like lamb ribs uh, with. Um, how do I even describe it again? Like obviously potatoes. It's the Christmas dish. It's it's mm -hmm. literally. I, 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 I'm not saying smalahova, <laughs> which is just a sheep's head. The the stick meat I think would work in Aorcia. It. I was trying to find a picture what of it. But, um. I think this would have to be somewhere cold, so it would have to be like maybe Garlemald. More than empty. Yeah. I was thinking Garlemald. Like, but the like, thing is, Garlemald takes a lot of its influences from like Eastern Europe and like yeah. Russia. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, what? remember that the the Slavic you come from, from the north. Like, they are Norse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this where the this is what it mm -hmm. looks like. I'm oh. doing a Yoshi P. But th there so, is it Obasa? Yeah, there's could a little. It, could sausage. it be from like? The the places like the the northern like Rogadan come from yeah oh Ersland. yeah Ersland. yeah it could be from there yeah yeah somewhere cold where you need a hearty meal to stay alive mm -hmm. all right uh, thank you uh, rare beast um, well let's cram let's cram one another one in um, real quick here we go here's this from Smorkels from Mateus. Since you guys talked about Paladin having the worst job quests in the game recently, I wanted to bring up some thoughts about it. Paladin's European medieval knight aesthetic doesn't fit Uldar's desert theme at all. I imagine that Paladin was originally planned as an Ishgard job back when Ishgard was planned to be one of the starting cities. But since Ishgard was cut for 1.0, they had to, move had to move Paladin somewhere. I feel that uh, if Paladin was more like Dragoon, where the job trainer is from... Uh, is from Ishgard Kurthas, it would have been a lot better quest on lore-wise. What are your thoughts on this? I've been thinking a lot about this recently because I've been working on Fallen Rise. So, the, and I'm talking about the 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 city-states, all, all of them being planned to be starting cities. And when you start looking at the jobs, it's mm -hmm. starting, you're starting to see that, okay, some of these jobs were maybe not meant to be here. Like, obviously, Dragoon is a clear example of that but it started as a lancer to be fair but i mean dragoon mm. is a nishgardian job yeah um, i think gladiator and lancer work for the city states they come from i don't think they're promotions do no absolutely um, not. i'm not sure any of the promotions do but i think the jobs in general well the yeah definitely work yeah um, for the, well mm, oh maybe not some of the the mints and ones as much yeah, yeah, it seems very strange. Like Arcanist. Well, no, it's an unusual one. I will, I will defend For Arcanist a, a little city. bit because it comes from like the most uh, <laughs> learned place in, in Limsa, which is the um, yeah, true customs. I don't remember uh, Melvon's game. Yeah, it's the it's the the, the duties. To yeah, where did, people. I mean, it's where does Arcan Arcany? Where does it originate from? Because I don't think it would have originated in Limps of the Mincer. Especially since it's, it's too good... derived. It, it It is derived from two, like, like uh, jobs that come from... Well, like, scholars are... I would assume Nimian. Charlian, but... I it's mean... very, it seems Charlian, doesn't it? Yeah. Because, you know, scholars are Nimian, and scholars 
originally right, from that's true. IMSA. But those are Scott. See the job. Sometimes the job and classes are like feels like they're two separate things that they have all like from. But I don't know. I don't know if Arkana. Well, that's especially true for the one in in the question because Gladiator does fit all die. It fits that sort of you know kind of Middle Eastern aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, you know that that it and it fits the lore of the place because it has the gladiator's pit. It mm -hmm. it feels correct. Mm. Well, it's also and then suddenly it becomes a holy paladin. It is important to note here that Arcanist is a bad example because it was introduced in a realm reborn. So that one, you know, mm. they you can't say that. Mm. Well, no, no, no. We're we're talking Arc this this Mogmail yeah. is specifically saying that some jobs oh. may have been designed in one yeah, yeah, yeah. to be from yeah, other that cities no, that we never fair. got. Arcanima, Arcanima is weird because like Arcanist is more Arcanist lore ties better to Scholar than it does to Summoner, even though Arcanist playstyle <laughs> leads better into Summoner than right. it does into Scholar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, as for the other ones, Thaumaturge I think works for um. Thaumaturge uh, is perfect for yeah. die. We have the Osiri nearby as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think uh, to me it's Paladin and Dragoon that stands out. Like those jobs, um, mm -hmm. the classes. Um, I can't think of like one that real. Well, oh, yeah. And warrior. Yeah, I was gonna say warrior because that's, that's um, why I'm vegan. Yeah, but again, no, warrior not. is a warrior, job. Warrior is like from Enslant or whatever. Oh yeah, sorry, Enslant. Uh, uh, yeah, Enslant. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. But Mar it starts as Marauder Although they're Hell's guards, so they're from Abalathia's spine. Yeah. So man, it's just a bit weird. Yeah. Um. um I think a lot of the jobs... Uh, Black Mage kind of can work oh. from Thorm well, I think Black, Black Mage, Mage and is direct, and same with White Mage and Country, oh. they kind of work. Yeah. White Mages are directly tied to Gridania. Black Mages are actually like... Uh, I mean, until we become a Black Mage, like Black Magic is like a pretty rare it's thing forbidden. and it's not really tied to any city-state. Yeah. It's True. just that, that guy in the prison camp. Yeah. So... What would you say if, because um, I, I I do agree with this person that I think Paladin is one of the most unfitting as far as like it's from its job promotion to where it's at. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like if they turned it on its head a little bit and like, okay, it's still like, okay, a Paladin, Protector, White Knight kind of thing. But they went with what I can only describe as... Um, I gotta choose my words carefully because <laughs> I, I I can't think of any better words. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say this, but I don't agree with this uh -huh. uh, um, uh, saying or, or style of uh, de uh, depiction. But an Orientalist depiction of like Turkish knights, kind mm -hmm. of, you know. Mm -hmm. kind of, uh, it, yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, know what I mean? Like it's it's less like the There's medieval nothing... style. There's... There's nothing wrong with that. Orientalism is the specific study of how it's exoticized by the West. The yeah, by the West. Yeah, but um, yeah, just like less the knight in shining armor kind of thing, Ottoman esque, you know, kind right. of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Yeah. I mean, they make it fit in some respects because they're like mm. guards of the queen yeah. or, or the sultan. Yeah. I think law wise that's how they justify it. I just don't think the aesthetic matches it. No, the aesthetic is very Australian in my humble opinion. Aesthetic is too holy, whereas it's too it should holy. be a little bit and it, I mean that's if the they whole wanted theming. to go for that, there should be more of an Eastern influence the... to their yeah. class design Rem and armor. Remember their mm. their original relic shield is called the Holy Shield. So it's yeah, you know, mm. it's yeah an Excalibur, which is pure English. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> very Katana. very yeah. strange. It's yeah. very very western <laughs> yeah. yeah also monk... are, well paladin is the was ultra western fantasy it's super yeah. medieval i mean it's yeah. like it's it should be the it's the yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's monk, the knight in shining armor monk obviously is an, an alamegan class monk uh, job um so mm. we know and that alamigo was one of the necessarily fit into all dar in my opinion sorry what is not does not fit in pugilism Pugilism fits in. I think it can fit into just like the concept of a gladiatorial arena. Mm. Um, and I wonder if Little Alamigo was only added after they realized that they needed an Alamegan connection to Uldar. 
Well, Little El Amigo as I a location existed as well. in 1.0. Um, it was a thing, and I believe there were refugees in Little. Am I mixing? Oh God, I am so afraid of talking about 1.0 now because I'm, I'm I've, my brain has gone completely mixed into a realm reborn. Mm. You can correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I'm pretty sure Little El Amigo was in 1.0 as well. Like I, I think it was in 1.0, but it was nowhere near what it was now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it was more similar to one of like those tiny like tent villages that has like three tents. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, but they were great. Yeah, because Gar yeah, because 1.0 Garlemald has still invaded Al Amigo at this point. Yeah, so. Al Amigo has been pushed yes. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, no, I definitely agree, Smurgos. I think they had to like shift things around when they realized that we can't get these city states done they can uh, only get three we got to figure it out i mean yeah. they, the ones they add in later sometimes like a uh, thief yeah fits into limps perfectly but there are some even though it is um horrendous cultural appropriation there are... like cannot <laughs> abide by there are some yeah. there are some jobs that where other planned jobs had to fall on the sword, which is Machinist, where Musketeer had to take the fall. Machinist was a strange one, right? Mm. Yes, that one's kind of odd. Uh, well, I think if they redid it now, they re because I think because now, like even though like a lot of the jobs now come from different city states, they allow them to start in the city states we have access to at the start. I feel as if they would have never tied Machinist to. Uh, Ishgard at all if they had if they had the chance to go back now. Mm -hmm. right. I would agree, yeah. and I would say if they won, if if they had kept up with their like job then class or mm -hmm. class then job whatever, mm -hmm. they would have made it start as musketeer and machinist would have been the end An product. Yeah. yeah. Well then, yeah, they could have tied machinist to Ishgard. Machinist, I can understand feeling Ishgardian. Musketeer sky... would have never felt Ishgardian. Yeah, the yeah. sky steel, whatever, would have worked. So when you get to that point, you go there. But mm -hmm. starting as Musketeer would have been pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a sad... I'm sad that we lost Musketeer. I think that would have had an interesting... Yeah. Play. But I at mean, least it's that would have been a logical class. upgrade. It's the ones like Thief to Ninja that I, I like less. You keep saying it's thief, but it's rogue. It's rogue. Oh, sorry, rogue yeah, to ninja. Thief in this game. It's, it's, it's a Maybe very it should have like... been thief to rogue then, or something. I think it would have been rogue to thief, but then they decided they wanted yeah. ninja, so they made it rogue to ninja. Ninja didn't work for me. Yeah. No. It's strange. It, it, that one. That one's probably one of the weirdest like transitions. Uh, like and some of them are like, job. like some of them will be like black mage, like we mentioned. It's like you are essentially the ushering in of a new age of black magic like, mm -hmm. it's it's not something done same mm -hmm. similar with warrior yeah there's only like a couple mm -hmm. of warriors left and then some of the others is like everyone's a whatever i am well i feel like Bard, at least the original jobs you feel you're very special like there is like something even as a white mage you're like this is a this is so. yeah this shit's serious <laughs> what you're embarking on now i feel maybe yeah. in the newer ones like in, with machinists which we talked about it lets like a construct we make that job right that is that, true yeah even the the soul crystal is empty pretty much yeah. isn't it for them yeah there's nothing in it so yeah uh, i don't know how we ended up here uh oh yeah we were talking about bad job quests i guess that's mm. T kind of related to that uh, anyways uh yes smorkels i think you're right i think they had to shuffle around when things didn't go uh, as planned mm -hmm. um but i think they did a decent job of making them fit somewhat into the setting that they're in now i think law wise they made them fit it's just the aesthetic doesn't necessarily yeah. match what they went with but they didn't want to change what they had right Okay, thank you, uh, Smarkles. Thank you, uh, Beast, uh, for your mog mail. We'll be reading more mog mail next week. Uh, remember, you can send in more at speakersxv.com slash mog mail. Almost forgot the address. Um, all right, uh, now we can move on to the main dish. Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat a silky. <sighs> there, yeah. Mm. Don't. Um, Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's. Your let's... fungus. <laughs> <laughs> your fungus did you just say that it's your oh. fungus oh right yeah well let's go through the patch notes real quick um and then we'll talk more about it individually we will not i'm just going to make a disclaimer now we're not going to talk about hildebrand today so you have another week yeah. to prepare for hildebrand so we're not going to spoil any mm -hmm. of that 
Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, we will talk about the relic and maybe touch on just, I mean, there's not much story in the relic quest. I think we can touch on the relic quest, the story I mean, you, the you, relic quest. You know Godbird's going to be involved. You know Geralt's going to be involved. And once you know that, you essentially know what's going to happen in that quest. So we're, the, there's not much to spoil there. Uh, but yeah, uh, in the quest, um, sorry, in the patch, uh, Hildebrand quest has been added. There's the Mandeville mm -hmm. weapons quest. Um, mm -hmm. Variant dungeons, of course. Um, and the Omicron tribal quests. Mm -hmm. um, which, I mean, there's not much to say about this. We'll, we'll talk about it in a bit. We will not talk about it and again for the Omicron quest. We're just going to talk about the initial quest um, mm -hmm. very loosely and then just about the, the quest system itself. Mm -hmm. We will maybe dive into more... Spo it, see, the thing with a tribal quest is that at what point do we review them? That's well, what we did. What we did with um, the Matanga or mm -hmm. the Arkasodra is that we waited like two or three weeks after, like the earliest people would have finished. And yes, so maybe we'll do that again so this time. Definitely Possibly. a few weeks. Away. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so let's talk about this then, because this has been added furnishings uh, from the furnishing design contest. Um, like a floating tatami. Yeah, tatami mat that's floating. Uh, I think, can you place it on the wall? Is that what that is I doing? I think so. I'm not too familiar with furnishing like <laughs> stuff yeah, like well, this. Yeah, well, they added these are like the. Yeah, it's a loft. Loft. That's I, the word they use. Yeah. I have some of these. I can probably use this one in my house because this the top floor of my house is this aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. currently the lofts are just like blank. Brown right. pieces of wood. Okay. This would match more. Yeah. This yeah. Match it's better. nice to have more loft styles. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. that's a shorter staircase than what we have already, I think. I think okay. we only have a bigger staircase, but I could be misremembering. It's been a while since I've looked at the staircases in the game. Right. Yeah. You can graduate them at least. Times. There's also a bit of an old style alarm clock. It's a very small, but it's that white little uh, thing there. Oh, that's an yeah. Alarm you clock want the one with the bell on. With the bells. Um, the rest I, I think is is old uh, stuff. I think yeah. that those are the two th things that are new. That's the main stuff. Maybe the like bed that's been <laughs> no, the it's... futon that's been wrapped up. Oh, or maybe that... maybe the wrapped up one is that new. bed exists. Oh, it does exist. Oh, does yeah, it? yeah, okay. I have seen it for sure. Okay, and the, uh, this cute little table. Um, I'm I'm hoping that the stuff on that table comes with the table, because having all these individual pieces. For a, that's un that's oh. not happening. No, because this you could fill your entire garden with coffee cups. You'd have to like oh. sacrifice your choco <laughs> chocobo stables, your garden patches, just to fit this in. I love the idea mm. of sacrificing important <laughs> items just for the coffee cups. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's cute. Nice, yeah. it's, it's nice. Mm. Yeah, with a little flower thing in the middle. Very nice. There's also additional furnishings from the dev team. Um, there's a Charlian rug. That's uh, pretty pug. With a yeah, Charlian cool. table and Charlian chairs. The um, table's a bit ugly. The chairs are nice. In, and then there's a... The thing to the left yeah. looks new. That's, yeah, it's like you, a traveling that's, like, suitcase. I you think. get that from the variant dungeon, I think. Isn't that the... Um, uh, yeah, you get that at some point, I and think. And then in, in the back right, you've got the Sildene ta side table. Which yeah. I've got now they're very nice. Three yeah. off now. And the Sildene chair. <laughs> and then there's a Charlian, um, I think it's like a kitchen or sink uh, or something. It's, like a, it's a basin and a basin. cabinet, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's a sit in? No. What? No, I don't think it's for sitting It's in. like a little kitchenette. Uh, that it's you, massive. yeah, it is massive. No, oh, you just dump, you just, you just dump yourself in there. Yeah, fun you while you're I mean, yeah. it could be a bath for all I know. It's massive. No, it has a bucket. Baptize babies in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is the wallpaper new? Um, I never well, really I pay attention to that anymore, but uh, maybe that is old. Um, for the Mandeville Gold Saucer, they've added. New cards and new opponents. Five as... more cards. Woo! Woo. Yeah. One new I've opponent. I've got at least one of them. Mm. I've got most of them. <laughs> um, a log message in miscellaneous. A log message will now be displayed when trying to leave the island sanctuary while using the duty finder. Whoa. Why? 
Yeah, why? Is that because you're, you're technically in an instant stereo or something? I don't know. So it hates it when you do that? I don't. Maybe. What, what does it say? Please it do not leave the island you're queuing. Will it cancel Will it cancel your queue if you leave the island sanctuary <sighs> while you're already there? That's a good question. I, I don't I... think it does. I think it just cancels your subscription. Oh, it cancels your subscription. the game. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. That makes sense. Um... Yeah, uh, there are new emotes. The WoW emote. Much WoW. Yeah, yeah we finally got a World of Warcraft emote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a Sogoi emote. Y yeah. <laughs> um, you get that fr from... It's nine Sildene pot shards. Yeah, right. it's part of the... I already yeah. have this. I'd never heard of the word pot shard before this game, by the way. No, same. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> I, yeah. Okay, for battle system... The strength of the Echo granted in Pandemonium has been increased, as expected. As completing mm -hmm. Abyssos the Seventh Circle and Abyssos the Seventh Circle, the appearance of the area will be changed. I'm not sure what that means. It means that when you go in to like the area outside the dungeon for the quests, or I don't. Is this how, is this how they're making it so that like those currently or previously illegal? Um way marks would be allowed to be placed mm. um, okay so yeah that is according to chat that is what is the case okay. so they changed okay. the floor so that the illegal way mark the previously illegal way marks are now legal because you would be able to place them when the fight is over i see okay okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. um the variant dungeon the sildene subterrain has been added we're going to talk about that so we're not gonna mm -hmm. uh here, all right. Uh, also, the Criterion Dungeon, another Sildene mm -hmm. subterrain, mm -hmm. and another Sildene Savage. subterrain. Savage ass <gasps> has been added. Oh, bless Sorry. you, Ruby. Bless you, uh, lady. R lady. <laughs> PVP. Oh. In certain PVP duties, it was possible for players to interact with and take control of certain devices with little risk via the effect of Guardian used by a paladin. As this was an unintended use of the action, Guardian will no longer have an effect on targets in interacting with an object. This is what people have wanted. Yeah. So this is mm. what was ruining Ansel Hakar. Yeah. Maybe ruining it for you. You weren't a paladin most of the time you played Ansel Hakar. Yeah, but we might have had one on our team. Right. One for us. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh huh. Cheating. Uh, a log message will now be displayed when registration for Crystalline Conflict is cancelled due to uh, arena changes. I didn't know this was a thing that could happen, but apparently it is. When I assume it, what this refers to is that when the arena change happens inside the rotation for Crystalline Conflict, and like it changes every like. Oh yeah. Hours, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Um, new items have been added, so this is the, like, Inspector Gadget look, uh, Blues Brothers, Men in Black, whatever you want to call <laughs> That's this. A, that was a lot you just threw out there. That was a lot <laughs> of characters. Yeah. If it didn't have the long coat, it would be Men in Black. I think this is the start of the potential Men in Black glamour. Yeah. Um, new recipes, obviously, and then a lot of stuff that isn't added to the notes. Um... Name of the following fishing hole has been changed. Elegaya to Abode of the Ea. That's it. So I think the reason for this is that I think Elegaya is the name of the fishing hole now inside Elysium. Mm. I think that's why they made this change, but oh, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Okay. They've also made adjustments to the Wellspring of Regret and Abode of the Ea fishing holes in Ultima Thule. The level of these fishing holes have been reduced from 90 to 84. Time-worn Cumberskin maps can no longer be obtained from these fishing holes. So they've they've nerfed the fishing hole. They've lowered them so that you can actually fish in them as a which you need for yeah. the uh Emicron tribe. tribe quests. Yeah. New mounts have been added, so there's the the space jellyfish. Oh. Uh, new minions. This one is so some, cute. But some people would have had a chance to use those new mounts now. Right. True. 
this is so cute. The the lizard the skink. minion. The skink. Yeah, oh, sewer skink. He's yeah. cute. Yeah, that, just... someone on the subreddit said that they've just that someone at the uh, the fourteen minion team will just like every now and then will just open up a book of random Australian animals and pick one and make it a minion. Because <laughs> that's what they've done here. Yeah, yeah. Um, a nice you, yeah, there's also a new umbrella. Uh, which is a uh, like cactuar themed umbrella. Do we know where this comes from? I no. don't know. No. Uh, I'm gonna guess if they've I... updated the Excitatron. Oh, it's from Variant Dungeon. Oh, it's from Variant Dungeon again. Okay, never mind. It's it's boring. The Random rock with a skink too. Right. It chucked oh, everything in the Variant right. Dungeon. Yeah. Well, well, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's new content. You need you need rewards there. Um. I don't think there's anything else worth talking about. Oh, Thavnir and Lower Lenosha will no longer be separated into multiple instances. That's interesting. It's crazy for uh, Lower Lenosha. Yeah. Especially, yeah, because that's where... Because um, that's, that's the entrance to... Be dry dock spaces, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And people oh, AFK there now. Mm. Um, okay, well, that's... Um, there's some data travel stuff. We we don't really need to go through this, and this of course, this is my favorite part. But um, <laughs> like the, like stuff like an issue where the sound effects played when entering and or leaving the Varian dungeon, the Sildeen subterrain are incorrect. It's like okay, mm. what what? Oh, the, does that mean this? It's it wouldn't be in these notes. The most annoying current issue <gasps> is that there you're... are some. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, go on. <laughs> there are some tribe quests mm -hmm. that have the symbol that you have completed mm. them when you have not. So I go to where it's telling me, well, I, I think I'm ready to hand it in. It's like, oh, yeah. I still need to gather the thing, do I? Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. It's very annoying. That is but annoying. We'll get to, I guess we'll it, talk we'll, about yeah, the tribe we'll talk quests about soon. It. We'll talk about it. Uh, what's first? Um... We'll talk about it now, I guess. Well, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> actually going to talk about it now. Notes. Yeah. All right, let's talk about uh, the Omicron um, tribe qu tribal quests. Um, mm -hmm. without... It's difficult not saying beast tribe, isn't it? It is, it is. I have to think about it. So, Well, only one of them's a beast. Only one of... Are you talking about the, the Lopra? Are you talking about yeah, Jamingway? Jamingway? Yeah. Okay. Um, Loperitz would not qualify as... Well, no, I know, but he's an animal. No one should qualify as these tribes an anymore. No. So yeah, the um, the the story is very basic. We're not going to talk too much about it. Uh, the opening quest, but I mean, you you get the gist. I mean, we can talk about the opening quest, can't we? Yeah, we can, but we're not. We we can't spend too long going through it. But let's yeah roughly. Um, you're starting a cafe. You're starting the a cafe. Last dregs. Yes. The cafe at the end of the universe. And yes. the only way you can test if it works is to have patrons. Mm -hmm. And seeing as mm -hmm. no one at the end of the universe, uh -huh. you make some. So yeah. you start off with the people from that planet where they... Where you, Dude, you know, the guy that who Corellians. Up, that fucks Corellian me up because Corellia is a region to the east of here. Like, that's a real place. Yeah. It's east of Finland. <laughs> Why? What are, we all yeah. what are we doing here? Oh, that's the, that's the space planet with the... Civil War, dude. <laughs> okay, all right, I see. And, and, the, and the one dude who read Marx, apparently, who's like, damn, soup is the opiate of the masses or something. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, what is this flavor dialogue? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the Corellians. Okay, and... They're antagonists, and you have to try and come up with uh, something, some food that will they'll appreciate. So their general food is like rations. Well, it's interesting because we get a little look into their story because there were the Corellians who were like the original world, and then there was like the unified the new world, no, something world, global citizens. Global citizens yeah, global citizens. yeah, there was which the were taking, the... yeah, and the global citizens were all about like automation and everything was the <laughs> same, and the Corellians were more, I mean, well, no, the, the Corellians was the race, and then the freedom fighters. Oh, yeah, uh, right. But came about as a result of wanting greater freedoms because yeah. the glo the global government was like starting to just like legislate everything. So right, that's how it was. Everything was yeah, the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so that was an interesting look into that. So they they all wanted like different things, um, and then yeah. we we essentially end <laughs> we make we want to make them something. Um, yeah. So... Well, what did they make that? What did the Omicrons make for them first? Because it wasn't very edible. No, whatever it was. Was it just? They gave them oil. They gave, they them, gave them oil. Them oil. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then yeah. they, they gave them oil. Well, first like, they tried the to fuck? give them the horrible carrots. <laughs> and carrots, yeah. Carrots and then happiness and oil. They tried to give them oil, yeah. Because um, these are what they had on hand, because that's what they Loperit's like and the Omicron's like. Yeah. But thank God salad exists. Yeah, we end up making a salad for them. Uh, and uh, they liked that. And then they are buddies with... Uh, ish. Well, yeah, ish. They, they... And then you're like, dude, you know, we're gonna need more vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you guys oh. work the land and maybe you'll be think, friends? Oh, uh, before before we get the Corellians in, though, we um, N seven thousand and Jamming Way show us. Oh, look, this a new planet has actually spawned. Oh yeah, all right. A new star is forming. Yes, a new star is formed. So we go check a look at this place that they jamming way, I think, calls Elysian. And mm. then I was like, oh, it's very flat. It's, it's gray like rock. Here. It's brown. It's brown not rock even, it wasn't gray. It was covered in grass, wasn't it already? No, no, no not it's originally. Not it's brown, brown at first. Yeah. But then okay. the hopes of the Corellians. Yeah. That... No, the, the hopes of the Corellians turns it into a farm. Oh, oh it? no, the hopes of jamming way turns it green. It turns and it then green. the hopes of the Corellians. Yes, that's farm. right. Yes. And then jamming way then tries to manipulate Dynamis to give them like 10,000 carrots. And doesn't yeah. Work. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's only true. Your, your, no, yeah. your true hopes and dreams have not, not your selfish gluttony. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, and that's. Basically, yeah, so we make a salad for the Corellians, and then they turn a lesion, or at least the part that we have access to, into a farm. Yes. Yeah. And then the daily quests unlock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which uh... I collect them from Stigma 4. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stigma 4. I love Stigma 4. Mm -hmm. Stigma dick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I... So... It's just a big eye. No, you go first. You go first. Okay. What's, what's interesting is that you can gather... Um, uh, crops. I was a botanist when I did this. That's the one I need to level. You can gather some stuff from the farm that exists, mm. but then Water sometimes crystals. you have to go out. Is that what you do as a miner? I do... As botany, some quests are in Elysian and some quests yeah. are around. Yeah, but yeah. they only... The things that, that spawn from Elysian only spawn if you have the quest. Otherwise, it's water crystals. Right, right. Mm. Um, but they're like, I don't know about this. Yeah, you said it, lady. Yeah. I don't know about like, um, go and gather three beans. And <laughs> now that we have the new thing where you can sometimes you gather can multiple gather ones, and... like, yeah, 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 it's all so annoying. Well, what's good is you that get, you, can... you end up with four beans and you turn in three and it doesn't delete from you. I know, but Mela. You can keep them for next time. But I don't want to. I don't want to keep them. I, I keep them for next clutter. time. So I don't have to go gather. That's uh, only if I farm more and I don't want that weird number. It's right, irritating, right. but I understand why know. it happened. Yeah. Do you, you ever know when the beans <laughs> collectibles as part of the quest? Yeah. <laughs> Do you not want them to utilize the actual jobs? Come on. Mm. They're so, so like. I'm, Nothing. Quest. Well, thank Mela. So, you have to remember, this is like a daily quest. I don't want to do like expert recipes, like just the equivalent. <laughs> no one's going for... that far. Well, that's what you're saying. You want to use One collectibles. Collectible. No, no thanks. Gathering collectibles is easy now. Mela, you want this now, but if this was what came with it, you, I, we wouldn't hear the end of it. Like, are we meant to do this daily? Why are we doing this daily? <laughs> <laughs> this is too much to ask. Mm. Um, yeah, scary. One, one more thing on the quest. So imagine this. Imagine you're a Corellian, yeah. oh, and okay. you have you have memories, because apparently they have memories of dying and of their planet being destroyed. Mm -hmm. so mm. You have these memories, and you're brought back with one of your sworn enemies. Then you're forced to have to eat like garbage, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then eventually, you're given an actual edible salad. But then your reward is manual labor for perpetuity. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, but I like it. I love hanging out with my buddy with the space racists. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Is this not really? partly a sort of? This is almost like a play on the ancient <laughs> lifestyle that we can create and bring into being. What we we're kind of discovering is this or isn't this life? Mm -hmm. They mm, basically generated know. things. Yeah, and we'll talk about that when we them. eventually review the whole story. But that seems yeah. to be the thrust of this this tribe like, these tribe quests. Yes, it seems like we're almost doing the same things as them, and and perhaps it's a mistake. I don't know, but mm -hmm. like yeah, like like we're just bringing these things into existence that didn't need to exist. Right, but they I mean, very well could that. have yeah, thoughts and feelings. Are. Yeah, well, yeah, but. Yeah. Suddenly, we're just we're creating a little sort of slave farm in in this pocket dimension. <laughs> slave? No. Yeah. Don't well, what are that. they rewarded with? Coffee break every now and then. But they get they're getting their own little planet. <laughs> mm. But they didn't. They, it's they're very tormented weird. by the, their former lives. Because in, in some of the daily quests, they mention that like they <laughs> they mention they remember the 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 people they're working with killing their friends and family. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's a little unfortunate. It's um, not. It's, it's not very really, weird. Yeah, yeah. But Jamie will say way better than Arxadora. Well, I like. Oh, I agree. I, yeah, I had to like really force myself to pay attention to Arxadora. Oh, stuff. yeah, I agree with you. And I was just like, I, I don't care yeah. about the new elephants. I didn't like the. Hippo rider. Do you don't care about the naked elephants, though? Did you not like it when oh, they had to make up the I naked like elephant? Mm. I made a great image out of that. Uh, I just, I yeah. didn't like the hippo it's rider. It's interesting because the way I think all of us so far are like uh, Omicron Quest, good. Mm -hmm. They've been very controversial. A lot of people don't like them. Really? Why? Really? But there's nothing to them. Yeah, it's not not not. No, you're talking about the yet. content oh, of the story. Uh, the content of the story. Oh, they, I, I think people find the concept, which we'll probably go into great in greater detail when we do the proper review. Mm -hmm. But I think they find the entire idea of just artificial life coming into existence that we, or not necessarily us, but others have created, and determining whether or not they consider themselves to be life, like too existential or like oh i don't know God. if i can just necessarily describe it in the right ways that because uh, this, this is not a perspective that i hold this i know, is something I, know. That I, I i need some one of these people to properly explain i suppose their i get it of course yeah i think the i think i understand like the idea of of the implications of it the fact that if it if it is life or or as close to as possible should we I think, be bringing these people yeah, back with these horrible memories it, and making them I think work it's for all, Yeah, it's 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 not just the fact that we're creating life; it's that we're creating life that previously existed and it, bringing it back yeah. into existence. Yeah, I think. I mean, could we, for example, go to Ultima Thule and create Yzael again? Well, okay. I I feel like this is a lot. This is very reactionary for like the first like we don't yeah, I know, know, I know what you mean. where yeah, yeah. the story is going. <laughs> They literally talk about that stuff too in like the story, like yeah. in, in the in the patches or in the in the um, advancement quest. So it's like it's not something they're doing as haphazardly, I guess, as people think. But... Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We'll see where it yeah. goes. Put down your. What's it matter? Think... Everyone knows I nothing think... in life matters, but like in the... a cool way. Yeah. <laughs> I think when we do our final review, we'll actually probably have quite a lot to talk about in regards to the story of the Omicron quest. Yeah. yeah. It's also interesting to, but... to just exp like think about. You don't. Have, not everything has to be like. You don't have to react to everything in a in an extreme way. It's just okay. Maybe it's questionable. You know. Wait for the story to finish before you start with that. You know? I think that's uh, yeah. It's in it's a good. Um, Sometimes it's, a, it's, it's nice thought to provoking, think. Thought it's good anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like if you <laughs> if you find nice the quest think. uncomfortable <laughs> because of those implications, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to. Not everything has to be super happy all the time. In this I agree. Game. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. And sometimes things are rough, and that's yeah. how the world mm -hmm. is, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Mm -hmm. um, Relic, we will not talk about Hildebrand, so don't worry. No, no spoilers for Hildy. Um, we're just going to talk about the the actual Relic. Um... You do have to do the full 
quest you have miners. to do this isn't a branch mm -hmm. off this is the end of this, this is, yeah. yeah branches this, off the final quest this to, unlocks this patch. Yeah. yeah this unlocks after finishing hildy um the the story is very simple and there's no like massive lore implication here other than uh, yeah uh, there, there is, is there's the mandeville weapons which some are somewhere but they've lost them <laughs> yes essentially yeah we got yeah, so, yeah. Godbert has decided to try and recreate the ancient mandible weapons that they used to have, but at some point lost. Yeah. But and they're the somewhere. For that has is... <laughs> yeah. 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 And the reason he feels this way is because, yeah, yeah, the first member of the Hildebrand, yeah, the, the, the Mandeville Godbrand family line was called. <laughs> yes. But yeah, the reason he feels the desire to do this is because he didn't feel like he was able to do everything he could during the final days to save everyone, yeah. which is quite sad. But yeah. yes, so that's why he's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to try and rather than just make, well, I mean, he'll, God, Godbert's like done quite a lot of good things historically. Yeah, that's a I great mean, man. Yeah. yeah. The, the, uh, the gold sorcerer is like, a means by which he provides like fair, like work for uh, refugees. Yes. To yeah, and like debtors and stuff. Probably the best man on the syndicate. Probably. Oh yeah, absolutely. So well, Pippin's on the syndicate. That's true. That's true. I mean, but Godbert has done more in terms of like Godbert's value, done a lot. like to, for people. Probably. Yes. I mean, Pippin is a good man, obviously. Pippin's yet to come into his own. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So essentially, so there is um. He wants to remake these weapons, these lost um, yeah. Manderville weapons. Uh, and but he's going to need your help. He no needs your help. He's uh, got most of the ingredients. Yes. Um, he needs you to go and get him some mandarite or something. Mandarites. Yeah, I think it's something like that. A, a special type of ore um, yeah. that you can buy for 500... Um, what are they called? Astral... Astrology? Astronomy? Astronomy tomes? Astronomy tomes? Whatever the last patches ones were. <laughs> yeah. So most people would probably be able to just immediately acquire the, the yeah. those materials and then hand them in, and that triggers the next part, which is where... But he needs to... He's given Geralt a recipe. Now, you you hopefully you'll remember, uh, I believe it was called Salamanderville oil. Right, which... mm. yeah triggers something in the mandeville man to go mega mandeville mode or whatever mm -hmm. but this is an even more potent oil this this scene was a little just I, it's so i don't know why it's this is excellent man. you were about to say disgusting were you kind of yeah i was going to say that because it's kind of disgusting in a weird way i was like oh i don't like the idea well, Godbert of... can't do it he's made like a small no, yes. vial of urine yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. no. So what? No. Okay. Not God, but Geralt. No, sorry, Geralt. Geralt. Yeah. So Geralt. Well, the funny thing about this whole quest is that Geralt is disgusted by God, but yes, yeah. God, but's existence. Um, yeah. But yeah, so Geralt does things according to um, God, but's instructions, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Oh, this is this is not exactly what we need." Right. Yeah. And then it's God, but's like, "No, you've theory. done exactly what I need." Yeah. And then he and then he just goes up. crazy and he, he does Mandeville man squats and he produces mm -hmm. a single drop of sweat. This was funny. That then yeah. I liked this. Yeah, I love old Mandeville stuff, yeah. but yeah, this was I was like <laughs> when, he, when he does the change. Rollo hasn't done this, so this is going to be very uh, incontextual. You look forward Sorry. to that cutscene, Rollo. You, yeah. you get to watch sweat go run down uh, Godbird's body. When uh, he does applies preparation sweat. thing, yeah, he applies sweat to a vial of like liquidated meteor rock. Yeah, mm. in the same style as uh, Salt Bay. Yes, oh. <laughs> essentially. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny, and Geralt when he when he takes his clothes off and gets ready for it, it's so good. Geralt's because, just screaming it <laughs> because finally there's a character that that accurately reacts to like the, what's happening because the warrior flight will be like, mm, I love it, mm. but he's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> you yeah. are n almost naked. <laughs> yeah, it was it's it was just great. how a mandeville man should be. Yeah, yeah. I'm fully down with it now. Yeah, 
Mandeville is, is great. So he then gets to work, makes the weapon. Yeah. So voila. Meteorite. Ancient artifacts probably. You know. Axala Mandeville, the one of those potent Mandeville oils there is. Yeah. And he produces for you some item level like six fifteen reasonably ugly ish no, not we're ugly gonna talk reasonably about the okay ish looking weapons and that's it yeah well it's like that's every time step. this is this is like every time there's a relic everyone has collective amnesia about how this usually works it's not amnesia it's the hope that one day they will just do the they won't. thing and give us both but first and second I, I, step. I was also surprised that there was no like further step but then i re remembered i'm like well no this is what it, this is how it is this is how they do well, it last time it felt like there was more because i know there was at least a single player instance tied to yeah. unlocking the first relic that's true that is true uh, but let's talk about the relics themselves, though. I don't think they're ugly. They're I not think ugly. They're, fine. they're not ugly. That I don't was the wrong word. Ugly. I think they're fine. It's the first step. You don't expect anything amazing from the first no. step. No. We're lucky that they're diable. Yeah, they yeah. are diable right off the bat, which, yeah. Uh, that's... Some are more interesting than others. Mm -hmm. I will say definitely... Paladins looks very... Which is probably why paladin. you're kind of meh on it. It looks very Paladin, but it looks like it's been done before. Um, yeah, it's high res. Yeah, we have to remember what? that. Yours is all right. Did, did yeah. you make the paladin one first, Mela? Yeah. The only did one you, I made. You expect it to be a higher eye level. Mela almost always plays paladin nowadays. I don't know why he would go for. I, I didn't expect else. it to be a higher eye level, but I was hoping it would be. Nice. To be honest with you, I was hoping it would be. Uh, six, two, five. That's the same as the, the as the Barbaricia weapon. See, this is where you We're have to. Do that. This is the point where you have to yeah, invest but... in the relic because at the end of this patch cycle, it will be best in stock. Oh yeah. So you. This yeah. is yeah. It's, uh, also remember that the relic you have now is most likely not what it's going to look like at the end. It always oh, no. changes That'll to the actual yeah. version at the end. So this is just temporary uh, appearance. But it's a nice glamour if you like it. Like I think mine is fine. It's a bit long. Oh, Barbara Rachel is 615. I thought Barbara Rachel was 625. Oh, yeah. I think I think the White Mage Cane is very long. Uh, I don't know if that's... Uh, it's just very I'm thin and long. I'm a big fan long. of the monk ones. Oh, yeah, the, the mouth. Like a dragon, the dragon mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm oh. hoping for... That. To be honest with you, this, you know, the first step's always like, oh, yeah, that's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it's when we really see the glows. That's when we know how good they'll be. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing that really stands out to me for any of the relics I've seen, honestly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, they're they're pat. They are okay. You, That's you know, the trouble, there's... isn't it? Because they're always going to be following like a. Well, remember a this is this is brief. clever. It's clever because they they give us like kind of meh starting relics, and then as we progress, they will get increasingly better. I think they do this oh, yeah. on purpose. I am very much looking forward to my paladin weapons having like such a big glow. No, see that's you another thing. We've me. we've they've talked about how the the design team they have they they've changed their approach to glows, and we've seen it already in a lot of the trial. Uh, sorry, the um, mm. uh, primal weapons, not primal. You know what I mean. The the weapons from from what was the latest one that was released? Um, was yeah. No, no, Titania. Is it Titania's oh, weapon oh, yeah. or the latest one? Uh, oh, they have new ways beautiful. of doing glows. Back in the day, they just slapped, like, just mm. make the whole thing glow. Like, it was like it's a horrible shit. I yeah. hated those. Now we get more creative glows, and that's what I'm hoping we get with the final. Mine's going to have, like, a phantom of Hildebrand on both pieces. Well, I see. I don't think they're going to be comic. Like, they're gonna, not going to no. be funny weapons. People wouldn't that's... want that. Very serious. Could you imagine if like the, the like the, the the end stage of the relic is like a toy hammer? Yeah, like, uh, people would be weird. outraged. That would not not fly. Okay, we uh, we need to wrap that. Um, but yeah, I I can't wait to see where mm -hmm. what we're supposed to do in the next step. Like, is it gonna just be do dungeons, do this? Like, is it old? Yeah, style? I'm a bit bit anxious about because it. we don't have any mm. i mean some talked about maybe tying it to criterion or like variant dungeons in some way but i don't know what did we'll you say books. give us books no no don't yeah don't books, listen I to agree them with you. don't books. listen to them we don't want the books
Better right. books. We're not well, saying old books. Better books. Well, speaking of variant dungeons, uh, let's talk about them real quick. Um, very good music. I'll start there. The music mm -hmm. in the variant dungeon and Criterion dungeon. Perfect. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah. The variant dungeon uses the piano theme for uh, Fan sure. Land yeah. that Keiko actually made a while ago. It was released. It was, this is part of the first piano collections. Yeah. What I don't recognize the Criterion Dungeon song. Is it new? I think. Oh, new. Oh, I, I think so. It sounds I've familiar. Never I don't. I don't know why. But that's but because maybe. It's, I mean, is it? Are you just recognizing, you know, Twilight over Thanalan? Because that is maybe? the remix. That it's it's a remixed version of Twilight over Thanalan. Oh, because it's a remix version. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a remix that already existed. Right. Okay. Right. Um. The, the the dungeons were almost overwhelming in terms of lore implications. Oh, uh, yeah. I did... The first route that I did was... So, obviously, spoilers for variant dungeons if you haven't done them. I did the middle route first, which we, we did on stream the other day. But mm -hmm. that one just straight up takes you into the Sildeen Royal Palace. Which mm. yes is for someone who's only ever read about Sildi and like remember there's like a cut scene where we see like the shad I'm, like the yeah. mirage of Sildi in the yeah. like distance. Just suddenly being in there, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I just it makes me think. This was posted on the subreddit. That person that asked for more Sildi lore all the way back in one point oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm finally getting it. Yeah, it was. I could be crazy. Dead. <laughs> okay, Gergi. Yeah, that, that one's dark. All right. Um, yeah. The <laughs> there's um, yeah, lots of lots of lore. Um, you, there's like some hidden scraps of paper. There's hidden scraps. Yeah. Um, um, I I presume it's one like theme per. I went right first, and that's Emolja. Yes. Lore. Yeah, so they used to work right side by side. side. Yeah. Yeah, the right hand side shows that was it still the or no no it was all it, it was all dark old old dark yeah worked, yeah. worked with yeah the Yamalja to defeat Sildi. Yes. And then the final boss of that route is an Amalja that was one of the leaders of the Amalja side. Yeah. It was unfortunately struck down by like the zombie curse so they had to yeah, seal the, him away well, the traders but they sealed um, him in like a very uh, in a very nice yeah. like circumference. oh it's beautiful yeah but well, they that gave was a, a very nice coffin yeah that was a cool a, a pretty cool fight the middle one's the sildi one and that has the adjudicator guy it's just, yeah. yeah it's just a sildi and guardian type yeah. thing and the left one I haven't gone I haven't left. left. Well, the left one is is the same as the the it's criteria. The it's the outdoor. Yeah, it's the one outdoor where one, you go to the gardens. Um, and you, is it the the sil silky? Is the last boss? That's the silky is mm -hmm. the last boss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. Um, now, if you go like right and right, you get the necromancer. If you go right and left, is it also the Amalgia necromancer? I went right. I went right and I went right and then left, and I got the necromancer. Um, yeah. Based on what Lakeel said from when we did, fought the Sylvain mm. Guardian, whatever its, its exact name was, is that that it does affect the mechanics. Yes, of the it final. changes Light, the mechanics. Yes, the light changes the mechanics. It, also, yeah. it also affects the ending you get in your like log. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There are four final bosses, from what I've heard. Yeah. There's the okay. three. There's a secret and then boss. There's, like, there's a secret fight, perfect, well, not perfect ending, but like, like true ending. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Why did they give Nanamo a job in terms of on the, the VNC menu? Because she doesn't do anything. She does That's nothing. True. She's so useless. She's, she's just chilling. Yeah. She's very annoying to just. I expected her to do I something, like her but she does. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I expected her to do something as well. I like her like asides and like the, the, yeah. oh, how yeah. she just keeps talking the entire time. But yeah, yeah I expected yeah. her to contribute. But then I again, she's some she's the sultana. Like she's not gonna fight. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> the thing. I initially, when we first heard about the fact that she was accompanying us, I was like, I don't see how she helps us. Right. And this is kind of what I was expecting. But then we saw the job, and I was like, oh, is she actually gonna help? And right. no, this is what I was. 
this is uh, now I'm back to where I thought it was originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, what do you feel? Think about the design then, with the 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 all of the branching paths. I was there's one thing that we talked about when we did um, the dungeon on stream was that the first boss that you encounter in all three of them always has the same, the same mechanic. Yes, but they have their own flair to them. So there's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. um, there's always the barrels with the colors. Um, yeah, that you have to mm -hmm. do. But then maybe the boss will like make half of the arena like dangerous. Like you can't cross that arena. Mm -hmm. You know, there's stuff like that. Yeah. I think that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I was I was disappointed. I, at this, I was disappointed at first when I saw it. I'm like, okay, so we're just yeah. gonna do that now, are we? It's but, acceptable. But I think the amount of fl like flavor it adds to it is okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that they can't yeah. make like. You know, I would have preferred six. them to make twelve in you know twelve bosses. You want twelve but bosses? I, I know they wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah well, cool. yeah. The right, so the right hand side, he's the the boss is like utilizing the sewage system. The middle one is like the filtration system for the underground palace, and then I don't know what's on the left side because I haven't gone that way yet. It's the garden for the yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's the garden. It's it's very nice. Yeah. Um, it's the so it utilizes gardens. like plants yeah like the yeah okay okay i mean you've you've essentially done the fight oh sorry you're talking oh, about the yeah, first boss yeah, right. yeah the first yeah, boss yeah, only because yeah. he yeah, just talking about the first mechanics. boss oh, oh okay. i can't really remember the first boss i can't remember what he does differently in the, the first boss if you go on the left um you're does all... he push the the barrels in the other version oh is that what he does i think maybe he does yeah there's some pushing he mechanic. pushes barrels when I went through it. I've yeah. only gone through the left side, so I can't say. No, he uh, puts barrels on every side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, they do a knockback the before the barrels on the left side. Is oh, that a thing? okay. Yeah, there's something oh, about okay. a knockback. I do remember that. Yeah. 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 They're more yeah. or less the same. They have like one extra mechanic each. Yeah. Or one different mechanic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, I think, personally, I think solo. They take a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. I agree. A route. Yeah. I, I like the trash pulls. Are fine, but a, a ever so slightly too long, or maybe there's too much. Trash between. pulls were the right length. But the the bosses, mm -hmm. especially the first boss on each route, repeats his mechanics almost immediately. Um, mm -hmm. And last, yeah. if you're solo, it lasts a little bit too long. I think they could tune its HP down a bit just yeah. because. They're expecting us to do this a minimum of twenty, uh, uh, twelve, uh, twelve times. No, twenty-four times. Do it with your friends. No, twelve, yeah. twenty-four if you want every, twenty-four every for the glamour. Collectible mailer. Yeah. Twelve for the story, an additional twelve for the glamour. Mm-hmm. And then maybe even more for the rest of them. Yeah. That's a lot of times to do this. It um, is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I would, I would think maybe slight tuning on the HP. Mm -hmm. Would be good. Also, yeah, if the the drops on the like housing items are RNG, so you might not get anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's also true. But um, if you go in with a group, yeah, you better have done all the routes already because <laughs> you can't tell them where to go. No, no. Oh, you're talking pre like party finder stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or oh god, match I don't matching. like the party finder etiquette already for some of this stuff. Oh no, no. I'm not trying. I, I saw some of some like just posting guides instantly like the day one and even day two and i saw the yeah, same thing this, oh, and i'm this like is I, really no especially this early this is really not something i want to do in a party finder no like eventually like like in a couple of months or like maybe even like next month or two two months from now i can understand people doing this because like eventually you're going to start wanting to do it efficiently but it's still a little bit annoying just because of functionally how it works yeah just not hard enough to require that. The criterion, fine, that's hard, but the variant, mm. it's just what, so simple. What would you guys think of like having that solo ability for like main story dungeons? Because like that, it didn't feel too bad. Well, oh, that's why. Those. I mean, that's why they. I mean, I think they don't want that. That's why they've made trusts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it would be fine. I did. I wouldn't mind it, Rodder, but I think it would feel a little implausible sometimes. Like. Just as in the whole dungeon. No, listen, mm. we're the best. Mm -hmm. No matter. I I don't want to be the best anymore. 
I'm done being the best. Um, we did a little bit of Criterion, cr Criterion, Criterion, um, the other day as well. Very hard. It's hmm. very hard. Uh, and that's these are almost worrying. Like... It's always worrying because there's another difficulty. There's a savage. Oh, yeah, there's a savage difficulty after it. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> the bosses are generally considered. I think. I, I think most community by it generally said like of a, a savage quality in terms of really. Their I thought they were mechanics. considered like an extreme quality. Yeah, yeah they said extreme for that because savage is that's savage. That's what Yoshi P said. Yeah. I don't think the community feels that way, especially with how long it took. Think well, how then, long it takes to clear well, an extreme. Yeah. Well, but, then, if they consider, if the community considers it a savage quality, I can't imagine what the actual savage ultimate. criterion. They think that's an be. ultimate quality. Yeah, ultimate they, quality. They, they, they think that is an ultimate quality. That's what I've heard in the community. Oh my like, god. Okay. Well. But think about it. In this version, it's this hard, and everyone gets one res that they can use on fire. In the savage one. <laughs> No one gets rest, mm -hmm. and if you die, the whole dungeon resets. That yeah. for me Good. does push it up there. Yeah, and you have to, and every is individual uh, trash mob has an enrage. Yeah, yes, yeah. and they all right. have mechanics in Criterion. They, I mean, not huge amounts, but that's they, they hit hard if you play them. Yeah, <laughs> you die. Yeah. But. So. I mean, yeah. what I like it. It was a, something the community had requested for a while. You have it now, mm -hmm. so it's this really is what we wanted. The system like is it. there. Um, and, yes. Um, um, yeah. But do you want to quickly talk about the story? Well, we don't really, uh, we can't really dive too deep into it. But um, well, like the initial. You're talking no, about like the, a Nanamo mm -hmm. story. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the gleamers have have got no work, so they've started. Uh, um, yeah, the, the gleamers the have word? no purpose now. Outsource the the adventurers guild outsources stuff to the gleamers mm -hmm. to because the adventurers guild with. doesn't have an have a an office, I guess, in yeah. Charlian. Yeah. So then you get you talk to some lad who loves you, and then a woman comes along and bullies him, <laughs> and then well, yeah. they say they've got a request straight from Nanamo. Well, no, they don't say that straight from Muldar. They request just you, mm -hmm. Mamodi sent it. You head on over. Luckily, you get away from the guy who loves you. Mm -hmm. And then you chat to fake Nanamo. Yeah. Well, I can't remember the name of. Um, Her lady in waiting. The no. lady in waiting, whatever yeah. she's called. And then you find out it's from Nanamo herself. You, they switch places. And she talks to you about Sildi. She says she was left a key by her parents. And they promised her that they would take her there. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately died. Yeah. Let's go find out what it's for. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. essentially what that's leads essentially us in what here. Um, and then obviously <laughs> the ending to that is somewhat tainted on which, by which route you make, because she does make some extra notes based on the ending to that. Mm -hmm. um, but then at the end, you I already knew that something like this was going to happen, where because when you see the lady in waiting... She's she's very. I, at first, I thought it was Nanamo. I thought it was. Yeah, Nanamo I thought it was. Yeah. Too. You're a master of disguise. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and she she does pull that on us when we meet her uh, in Uldar after we've been to Sildi. That's how they, that's how they got me. Yeah. The first time I thought it was Nanamo, and the second time I didn't Same. think it was Nanamo, yeah. and it was. Yeah. They yeah. fucking got. got. <laughs> Did you get got? Because you got got. Yeah, I got absolutely. Got, mm -hmm. got, I got got, got fucking, twice. Yeah. You got Nanamo. <laughs> um. Uh, I think the general outcome is that, because um, this ties into old Hildebrand, yeah, having done it recently. But it's it, it's about getting the tr truth of Uldar out. Mm -hmm. I want to say it ties into old Hildebrand because that right. the, the history of Hild <laughs> that I know what you're talking about, Mela, with the traders, but that law existed before it was relevant. Oh, yeah, Hildebrand. No, I, I yeah. know. But... Yeah, yeah. Uh, the stuff about like the uh, Amolge's um, involvement and the fact that it was all Dar rather than Sildi. Mm -hmm. mm. A lot of that was from Hildebrand, weirdly. That is that true. Is true. Yeah. Nanamo is one of the only people that would have known that like mm -hmm. they they worked alongside the Amolge. That mm. is like stricken from all Dar history. Yeah. Yeah. So I think she wants to set the record. She straight. even says when you're fighting it that this is kind of horrible that we're now yeah. killing like a hero of Uldar essentially because he was. Mm -hmm. um, that they destroyed. Yeah, yeah. 
it's yeah it's Uldos story is actually really interesting so i'm glad that we're getting it some is, more mm. more stuff there and this is the the implications of what this could mean for future variant dungeons is very exciting isn't yeah. It, mm. yeah yeah all yeah, throughout when i was walking through that palace i was thinking oh god help me if we go yeah. to gelmora <laughs> in, in the Gridanian version of this, I will perish. I will perish. I, I, oh, I just want to keep your expectations low, <laughs> kill. Yeah, because they <sighs> they have said we have already explored Gilmora. I don't want you to think because there is always the possibility it could end up just being some marky place. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Or or I mean, it could be, it could be it Amdipore. Could be Amdipore. I mean, the poor yeah. keep. I'd be okay. happy with Amdipore as well. Limsa's equivalent could be Nim. Uh, uh, or it could be more mist it could be some of Mistbeard's like hidden stuff it as well. It could be Mistbeard stuff. I um, would like Nim is I would like I Nim. Yeah, Nim would be because cool. I want to explore the floating cities. That's yeah. that's one of like the big parts of of Lenosha that we haven't touched on. Right. And that's what I really want to see personally as yeah. a scholar. Mm -hmm, floating mm -hmm. cities. Yeah, there's, there's also the cold famed salt marsh. Let's do some more mark. Maybe. Also, the northern cobalt side. Yeah, the mm. the, the northern side. Of I guess the we could explore um, Ogomoro. Yeah, like we could just be, drill down. You know what? That would be cool because, like, now we've got a positive relation with the kobolds. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be that weird for them to like ask us for help with something. True. Yeah. True. And we could go in with um, Gabu. Oh yeah. Little Gabu, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love the you, end. Gabu. Oh yeah. And then what if the shroud one explores that? What was it called? The amber dragon statue. Oh, amber scale amber rock. Scale rock. Yeah. Amber scale rock. Yeah. That would be interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots. There's what lots if, of what stuff. What if the Gridanian one lets us destroy the Eagles for once and for all? Oh, oh yes. variant dungeon extreme. <laughs> blow it up. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I mean rewards. We kind of saw it already. Uh, we've talked about it. Um, I don't know if there's anything to add to that. I think uh, that's fine. There's a lot of them. There's, there's a, a mount, lot of rewards. There's housing stuff. Mm. There's the inspector mm -hmm. gadget. Yeah, yeah. There's lots. This, this. I know we've been talking about wanting like expert dungeon back for all. Not expert dungeons, but like hard mode dungeons. I like this as a like a compromise right yeah mm -hmm. i agree i agree yeah i wouldn't mind getting like i, I wonder how frequently we'll get them is the thing oh they said yeah. they've got two more when they showed us the outline for six for six six point x um in that weird live letter they did a while back that was just talking about the future of yeah. yeah uh, they showed that they had two more planned and i think they were not Probably not getting one for six point three. I think they showed one each for six point four and six point five. Yeah, that's so pretty good. That's pretty Free frequent expansion if, if they good. are doing that. Yeah. Don't uh, just keep. What you need to do, Square, is keep up the momentum. Don't. Don't, don't abandon it. Good ideas. Don't go abandon it. Because this is a really good idea. This yeah, is one of I'd... the best things you've came up with recently. Yeah. I can understand why we won't have one six point three because I think that's when they said that the deep dungeon was scheduled for. Right. So oh, probably God, working I forgot on that. deep dungeon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Again. Yeah. Heaven on high was a mistake. We can all accept that you didn't really know what you you'd gonna good deep dungeon and you didn't know how to expand on it. Right. You've had a while to think. Mm -hmm. This one's going to be good. This is the okay. one. This okay. is the this one. is going to be a good one. Yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, that's the end of the show. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Remember, if you're watching live, of course, uh, the post show will begin. Um, remember to follow on Twitter at speakersxv, twitch.tv slash speakers of Heidelin, uh, youtube.com slash speakersxv, exclamation Discord in chat, everyone watching on demand links in the description to join our Discord server. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot to mention this, but someone posted on our Discord a moment that I'm surprised none of us remembered, but it might be because it was episode Which 50. Surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's a long fucking time ago, but we essentially called 6.0 perfectly. We said yeah. 6.0 was going to be the end of the Asian storyline. We were going to the moon. Uh, mm -hmm. It was the end of the Zodiac storyline. Like it was, it, we did it all. We did it all. Yeah. Episode yeah, 50. Yeah. I, have yeah. To, I, I want to see that moment. Honestly. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know how, how close we're reading. Well, it's not going to be one moment. On it's moment. throughout the whole episode, Rollo. So yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. longer, 
yeah. We, it wasn't we encapsulated in a minute of, this but is exactly what's uh, going to happen. There is a moment where we literally just go, yeah, 6.0 is the end of the Zodiac. No, sorry, mm -hmm. the Asian storyline, for sure. For sure. We're going to the moon, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> so it was very, it's very interesting to watch. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so early, Rolo. You weren't even there. It was me, Yas, and yeah. Orange, and Mela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, the okay. times. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that's it for today. Uh, like I said, I've, I've the done... lime green wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you in the poster if you're watching live. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.